Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. I hope everyone's excited for this playthrough of Skyrim. It is the special edition, so it's basically Game of the Year edition. So I have uh, Dawn Guard. Uh, what's the other one? Dragonborn, Dawn Guard, and Hearthfire, I think it is, are the three expansion packs for this game. So I'm super excited to be checking these out, uh, checking it out. Um, Skyrim's just one of those games that I, I picked up, like, when it came out, I played a bunch of times, but I've never really beaten it. Um, but right now, I'm, like, I'm ready. I want to do a full playthrough, kind of like a completionist playthrough. Do as much as we can and, like, go through it and, like, fully explore it, so I'm excited. Hey, Medium! Good to see you. How's it going? Oh, man. I'm so excited. So, we are going to be playing the game on Expert. So, I'm going to be on Expert Difficulty... Um, I've got the name of our character, and we are going to be playing a high elf, and we're basically going to be playing a high elf that is going against his own people. So, um, as some of you may know who have played Skyrim before, the Thalmar, which is an alliance between the high elves and the wood elves, um, basically went to war with the Imperials and ended up basically dominating them, and they had to sue for peace, and so now they're like the ruling party. And they're also prominently featured in Skyrim because in Skyrim the Nords are trying to be independent because they don't want to be under elven rule. And so my character is one of the few high elves that stood against his own people and said, hey, that's not okay. Elves shouldn't rule. Everyone has the right to rule themselves. And was on his way to Skyrim to join up with the Nords to fight for their independence because right now they're the only ones going against the Thalmor, who he's also basically not a fan of. So I'm super excited to play that. So that's our origin story heading into Skyrim. Oh, that's awesome. That's right, Medium. When we talked to you last time, you said that you had, uh, what was it, a promotion, and then you were waiting to hear back, and uh, didn't you have to take a test or something you were waiting for, like uh, a job skill test? But I'm so excited that you ended up getting the job and everything. That's so good. Uh, we had a couple people from stream actually get promoted and uh, move up in their job, so I'm glad to hear it. It's very deserved. <laughs> I'm sure you're enjoying it. Hey, Kotsky, How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, let me go ahead, and I tried to set up all the settings beforehand, but I'm going to go ahead and we'll get to the intro screen, and we'll play around with the audio and get all that set up too, so that's good. Um, I did some settings beforehand, but we'll see. So the other thing is, uh, just like in Oblivion, I'm going to try and play this game with mouse and keyboard, and I usually have only played this game with a controller, so... I think I'll do better now that I've played Oblivion, because I'm a little bit more familiar with some of the controls, but um, I'm also going to be doing that as well, so there might be a couple moments where I'm freaking out trying to do like 10 things at once, but I'm sure I'll get better as the uh, playthrough goes through. Oh my gosh, you too, Kotsky? That's awesome! Oh my god, I'm so glad to hear like everyone's getting promotions and moving up. That's awesome. I think Kotsky, Medium, and... Um... Who else was telling me? I think there's like three or four of us that all got uh, promotions recently, which is super cool. Okay, so we've got that out of the way, so it's going to be Expert, a High Elf, we've got the name, we've got the origin story, I've got all the expansion packs, and then Bethesda has this thing called the Creation Club, um, which is basically like their mods, and it was a whole thing, and... Um, so over the, you know, of me owning the game for quite a while, they have, like, different specials and things that go on. So I have a bunch of free mods, free armor, free quests, free bonuses um, from the Creation Club that are in my game as well that don't affect achievements. Because I'm also going for achievements this run. Um, so you're also going to see those while I'm playing. I've added some really good ones, too, that I think will be pretty fun. Aw, Chris, you deserve a promotion. Just show them all the geese that you took out. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> yeah, we all promote you. You're spiritually uh, promoted. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That just shows you that like it all ends up working out. Like you got a plan. It's like when one door closes, another one opens. Like exactly. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm so happy for all you guys. You guys definitely deserve it. I'm glad everyone's doing so well. I love good news. That's just like the best way to start the day. Um, so let me see. I can actually, I think I can actually load this up and kind of show you what I have. 
Um, I've acquired this, like sometimes they'll do promotions or it'll be on sale or they'll give you like free points or stuff like that. And so I've just been collecting like some of these mods that they do. And really the only reason I use these mods is I'm such a big like achievement hunter. And these mods to the game, because they're like officially developed, don't disable achievements. So that's why like I play with them. Otherwise I would use like other mods as well, but I love getting achievements. So I have to use these ones. Yeah, I would promote Chris. We have to come up with his t what his title will be. We have to see if it's going to be Sir, Knight, Lord, Baron, Duke, Master of the Geese Killer, Killer of the Great Evil Flying Devils. <laughs> but let's see. What do I have? Um, so I have this mod here called Adventurer's Backpack. So this lets us make backpacks with the crafting skill, which give anything from 50 to like 150 carrying capacity, depending on how good they are. And there's a bunch of different kinds, depending on like how your character is. Um, I have some alternative armors that are also in the game. So I have an alternative Daedric, Dragon, Elven uh, armors that are in the game. Some have quests, some you just kind of stumble upon. We have the Arcane Accessories Pack, which gives us a couple more robes that aren't in the base game and a ton of more spells to use, which are really fun um, for some of the different magic schools that didn't really get a lot of spells. We also have the Arcane Archer Pack, which lets us make elemental uh, arrows, aka Zelda arrows, ice, light, and fire, which are super fun, super cool. They also stack with any weaknesses the creature might have, so if they're weak to fire and use a fire arrow, it is going to do bonus damage. A um, couple companions, I have this little Bone Wolf guy, he just kind of follows you around. I have the Camping one, which lets you set up camp and like chop wood and set up like little temporary places to sleep when you're out in the wild so you don't always have to fast travel back to towns i've got a mud crab that's like from some dwarven ruins you can find this weird nyx looking hound that's like a demon and then one of my all favorites because i'm a big fan of a khajiit the rare curios one which gives all of the i believe it's morrowind and one other elder scrolls game basically the khajiit sell the alchemical ingredients and items from those lands if you talk to the merchants and you can use them in alchemy in the game and they're just like an additional thing that you can craft potions and stuff with so it's super cool um we have the spell knight armor which has its whole full like voice dedicated quest line which is super cool kind of like a spin off of like a battle mage and then survival mode which I won't have on this time because it like really changes the game because I kind of want to play it as close to base as possible but this adds cold um, realistic carrying weight, sleep, and um, a few other things that you have to deal with, aka what they tried to add in Fallout New Vegas to give it a more realistic feel. This is the official um, Skyrim one, basically, to make it feel like if you were really alive in this time and do dealing all this stuff, uh, these are the things you'd have to deal with, like battling with the elements. Um, so it's pretty cool. So these are the ones I have, and uh, as you can tell, my all-time favorite item from Oblivion is on sale right now for 200 points, where we could get the Grey Cowl of the Grey Fox in Skyrim, which I would love. But unfortunately, it's 50 more points than what I have, and I'm super bummed, because I would pick that up in a second. Um, so I'm thinking about it, you know, maybe in a future episode you might see this pop up. You know I love the Grey Fox Cowl, so it'll be fun. I can't remember if this one actually has a quest or if it's just the item. Uh, the legend of the Grey Fox is known throughout history, yet the ones who wear the cow remain nameless. To become the next Grey Fox, you must first restore the identity of the cow's bearer, and only then can your crimes be uh, bereft of a name. So it looks like uh, it does have a quest, and then you actually get to wear the cow, like from Oblivion, and be the Grey Fox. And you can see how the guards are enchanted in red. It's like a frenzy to force them to attack you. So it looks like it's uh, just like how it works in Oblivion, which is super cool. So I might be picking that up. You never know. I love when, you know, Elder Scroll games, and then they just put the same stuff from other games into, you know, stuff from Oblivion into Skyrim, Morrowind into Oblivion. You know, I just love when you just bring it all forward. So it's very cool. So that's what we have. We're going to be on Expert. I've got that set up. I've got our settings set up. Um, I don't think we really have, like, a sound or anything to test it against, but when I go ahead and... Uh, Oh, is it? Chris, really? Is a Nick sound from Morrowind? See, I had no idea. I was like, this guy looks so derpy. So I'm glad to see that they're throwing in references from other games into their stuff. You haven't killed... Oh my god, you haven't killed a goose yet, Chris. Oh my god, you're sleeping. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is if they try to testify, 
against you or make you go to uh, if you have to stand before a judge for killing one of those, uh, I won't say guilty. I'll always say not guilty if I'm on the jury. So don't worry about that. So. You can kind of hear the so uh, the song in the background. Does it sound okay for now? We'll kind of test the audio as we go through, like, the opening. But how does it sound so far? Um, just with the, so the song playing in the background while I'm talking, does it sound okay? I kind of had to change a lot of the sound settings for Fallout because it's such an old game, so I just want to make sure everything sounds good. Yeah, we will all vouch for your innocence, Chris. <laughs> we will come to your aid and be your character witnesses. Uh, so far it seems good, maybe a bit on the quiet side. Alright, let me turn it up just a little bit. Um, so hold on, I have to pause it for just a second. I figured out how to do this yesterday. So I pause it. And I should be able to move this up a little bit. All right, let's try that. All right, so I just turned it up a little bit. Does that sound any better, Chris? I know I have to talk while the music's playing to get, like, a good range, make sure it's not, like, too much over me. Seems good. All right, cool. We'll test it uh, throughout the opening cutscene. If we need to make any changes while they're talking, we'll do that. I also have subtitles on. Um... So it should be said, I have all subtitles, general and story, so I'm excited for us to load up. So I've never beat Skyrim, I've played it so many times, I just want to beat it. You know, after beating Oblivion, I was, like, inspired, I really want to, like, know what's going on. And, uh, I just got, like, the Skyrim bug. I was sitting there and I was like, I really want to give it another chance, I want to play it, I want to shout at some people, and I want to, like, get in the story, so... I'm super excited, you know we're going to be going after the Daedric Artifacts... Uh, everyone says the expansions are super good, so... And I'm definitely excited to, like, build houses. I'm a big crafting guy, so I think my favorite part of Skyrim is that they added smithing, uh, there's still alchemy, and then enchanting, and just there's, like, a lot more ways to craft and do different things, so I love that. But let's go ahead and load in. Good old and to win. so crazy for me to be playing like mouse and keyboard. I think I'll be okay, but I also put the game on expert, so I might get my ass handed to me. But I'm going to be playing kind of an interesting build. I'm definitely not going to be playing how I played Zancrick. It's going to be quite a different build, but I'm excited to uh, see how everything does. us and that thief over there how does uh Rayleigh sound Skyrim was fine until you came along Empire was nice and lazy they hadn't been looking for you you have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell you there you and me we shouldn't be here it's the storm cloaks the Empire wants we're all brothers and sisters in vines now thief shuts up back there What's a little quiet him, huh? watch your tongue Speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. I'll I'll crank it up a little bit more once we uh, get off the uh, the cart. The leader of the rebellion. If they capture you, oh God, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Okay, yeah, we'll turn it up. Uh, hey, can I pause it? Let me see. You from? Oh yeah, we can pause it. All right, let me turn it up some more. I had to turn. I had to change it a bunch for Fallout. Fallout was crazy. All right, so let's change this. Hang on. Oh crap! Hang on. No, give me my mouse back. 
It's a little bit finicky. I was trying to get it set up. All right, so let me... No, it's locking it. All right, hang on. Can I save? All right, I can't save yet. All right, so we're going to have to play through this part real quick, and then once I can save, I'm going to have to, like... It doesn't seem to want to give me my mouse back once I'm in the game, unfortunately. All right, quest journalist is E. Yep, we all know that. All right, so exit this. Steve. And then I'll crank what it up once hear? I can save and do it. A Nord's last thoughts should be in the home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. I already hate the Imperials. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. And Talos, goddammit. Talos is a god. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with it. Excuse you? Uh, Ducky. Talos is the one true god. I'm Team Talos all the way. Screw the Thalmor, too. I'm not into, uh, elven supremacists. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. God, it's been so long, so this is Helgen. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. hate her so much. Why do you think? End of the line. Like, Talos is the perfect example keep the gods of how a mortal can ascend to godhood. And so it gives hope to the rest of us that we too could become a god. <laughs> I was gonna say, hang on, it's not a movie. Alright, can I save? God damn it won't let me save. Um I don't want to do the uh did it give me an auto save? Prisoner. Okay, it looks like it's saved there. Alright, let me exit real quick and we'll get the sound turned up. I was hoping I had it set up where I could get my mouse back, but it keeps locking it. But let me go ahead and turn the sound up. All right, let's make sure this is set. All right, that should be good. That's a good crank. All right, let's try this when I load back in. Alright, let's load in. So right now we're just a prisoner and we're just getting off of the, uh, getting out the cart, basically. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. Alright, so just tell me if this sounds better, it guys. Has been an honor, I crank the sound Jarl up. Jarl Ulfric. Raelof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Wait, why was his name on the list? He must be a hell of a horse thief. Anyone else oh shit. Like running? Uh Wait. You there. Not if you're going to do forward. that. Who are you? I'm a motherfucking high elf bitch. Not a Kashi. All right, hang on. Okay, I gotta use arrows for that. Alright. Uh, also known as Altmer in their homeland of Somerset Isle, the High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to regenerate magic quickly, but unfortunately, High Elves are also super weak to magic. But, of course, the game doesn't tell you that. They just want you to figure that out. So let's go ahead and let's do some customization. Uh, so we're gonna be male. Let's see. I kind of like to play, like, a little bit lighter. 
but I still like a tan. That looks good. I think weight in this game is just um, how much muscle you have, so I definitely don't hit the gym that often, so I don't want to be too muscly. Mm, that seems good. Reflection, face. I like the focus on the big things, like eyes, hair, ears, stuff like that. Oh god, that's... Okay, so that's when you done too many Dark Brotherhood contracts and Sithis is, like, taking over your body. You just get the old death eyes. I do like the yellow ones, where it's, like, mana stained. The orange ones are nice, too. But I'm a big fan of the green ones. I just think they look super magic-y. And just kind of, like, magic... Yeah, I do like green eyes. I think I'm gonna go with the green eyes. Yeah, I don't want to be the, the blind Jedi that can't see anything. Alright, let's do green. I want to do hair. It's a ponytail. I do like the battle hawk. Not gonna lie. I do like long hair, but I don't really like my ears being covered up too much. You know, when I play an elf, I like to see my ears. Oh god, who would ever pick this hair? This is like the Friar Tuck. I do like long... I mean, it's kind of... I mean, I do like me a good Gandalf hair. Hmm. I don't know if I want it cropped. That one's not too bad. But again, I can't even see my ears. I like shave sides now. Bald. Swoop to one side. Or high ponytail, which is kind of cool. And then long flowy. Mm. Guys, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a battle hawk. You know, this kind of goes into like we're a rebel. Like we kind of do our own thing. We're going against the Thalmor. I kind of like the rebel cut. Like. We don't want to look too fancy. We want to look like we're going against the establishment. But we're definitely going to get a beard. Finally, we've wanted it for seven games. Two games that haven't even come out yet. We wanted it in those games, too. Just give us beards. Facial hair is where it's at. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh man, you do not want to fight this guy in an alley. Eh, yeah, that's nice. I like the big poofy beards. So the best I can do is this one. It's not too bad. Nords and everything, I think, get some more poofy beards than the uh, High Elves do. I mean, this one's not too bad. I do like that one, too. I do like the full beard. Let's do that. That way I'll blend in a little bit more with my Nord brethren. Mm. I think I like the I like the lighter red. Could do dark though. It kind of sets off my eyes when I do the dark red. Yeah, let's do that. I do like dark red. Very nice. All right. And then the only other thing I think you have to decide on is the, uh, it's war paint. Which, I don't know, I don't typically use war paint. I mean, oh my god, you can do some, like, crazy shit with war paint. That one's kind of cool for, like, an archer. Like, you're, you're, like, marking your primary eye, like, where you're shooting from. Oh my god. Bandit. Bandit. I don't know what that is. Archer. Sith has slapped me across the face. Ouch. Doesn't it look like the five, what is it called? The five tenets of the Dark Brotherhood? Like somebody uh, slapped you with the glove? Oh god. Oh god. No. What is this? This is terrible. <laughs> Imagine if you're just walking around. Hey, uh, I'm here about the, the quest to help, uh, help the old lady cross the road. 
Does anybody know where she lives? <laughs> oh, we're definitely hitting up the Dark Brotherhood, and you already know that. Like, I like it. I think for certain car characters, like, definitely barbarians and stuff like that. Like, I get it, but for my character, I don't need any war paint. I'm intimidating as it is already. I look like a badass. Alright, I like this. Alright. So let's say we're done. Uh, yep, and we need to name him. So this is Theoden. Um, does the sound sound any better? Guys, since I uh, changed it, does it sound like it's higher now? You'll hear some dialogue here in a second. We can test it. You are not with the Falmer Embassy, are you, High Elf? No, that can't be right. Captain, awesome. what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Screw you, lady. By your orders, Captain. You don't even know who I I'm am, and you're going to cut my head off? We'll make sure you have a main to return to the Somerset Isle. So that's where I'm Hello, from, the Captain Somerset Captain. Isle. So that's where High Elves are from. I would love an Elder Scrolls in the Somerset Isle, but I'm a big Elf fanboy. I know not everyone is. And we could go to Orsinium. I would do that game, too. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. He did nothing wrong, you guys are fuckers. Oh shit. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of okay, the so he's the lord of the, the underworld. Of Shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. The thing that always pisses me off. If this guy would have just, like, shut his mouth, he would have been alive. But because he was such in a hurry to, like, not even get the last rites, he gets his damn head chopped off. Oh god. Yep. He's not waking up from that. My healing cannot heal that. Excuse me. As fearless in death as he was in life. Can somebody take his uh, bandages off so he can do something? There it is again. No, Did I wouldn't either. Nobody is. Dragons are supposed to be dead. Prisoner. To the block prisoner. No, 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 no. Why am I next? Hey, 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 hey. I didn't do anything. God, I was just trying to cross the border. Why are you cutting my head off? I'm not with them. I'm clearly not a Nord. Oh my god, don't put my head where his blood- Oh my god, disgusting! Ugh! Oh my god. I'm literally in his fucking blood. Oh shit. What do you see? It's in the Hurry up, he's gonna- Okay, thank you. Now, how would you not be shitting yourself right now? Literally just like summons Meteor Storm. Shit, so what's my move commands? Is it arrow keys? I can't, I'm stuck. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Do we even have weapons? Oh my god. I don't think she's okay. I think somebody needs to get her some help. Somebody untie my hand so I can heal this lady. With me. But they'll live. This guy, oh my god, his arm's all messed up too. Alright, so this is the Move. guy that everybody's Move. fighting Move. over. Oh, Jesus. Alright, he's pissed off. Um... Somebody didn't pay their uh, rent or something. He's here to collect. Oh my god. Jump through the roof. And keep going. Jump through the roof? No. Alright. We'll I got this. Ah, jump! Okay, good. I didn't land in the fire. I thought that was going to happen. Look, he's still flying around too. Oh my god. Alright, I figured out how to stealth. A little bit easier than Fallout, but I'm in stealth mode. Maybe if 
I just stay here, he'll like leave a, like leave us alone. Like, has anybody thought to do that? Oh, shut up. I don't care about you. I'm out of here. How do I sprint? Oh, God. Okay, that's this is way too close for comfort. I can't even, like, punch him if I wanted to. Okay, there's another one dead. Pick up a weapon, or oh my god! God. All right, someone pissed off Daenerys. Her dragons are loose. Oh my god! <laughs> Get me the hell out of here! Ah! You guys are. In oh my god! He just picked up Terra. No! Oh my god! I'll catch you! I got you! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. That guy is not getting up from that. Alright, get me the hell out of here. He's just picking up bitches off the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see how far that guy went? He was flying off the wall. Okay, I'm not, uh, I'm not going outside for the foreseeable future. Oh my god. Did you see that guy get flung off the wall? That thing was a dragon. No shit. No doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Oh, they, oh we got another dead guy here. in here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, get these bindings off. Give me my hands. There you go. Ah, there we go. Well take on your gear. All right, E to loot bodies. Let's try this out. All right, I want all of this. Thank you. All right, get that armor on. Oh, nice. So that's how I can look at myself. I look pretty good. Pretty good for dodging dragon fire. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What, what do I have magic, like, magic-wise? Illusion. Fury. Creatures and people up to level 6 will attack anything nearby for 30 seconds. And I can F to favorite. Let's favorite that. Uh, while in game, press Q to open the favorites menu, which allows you to quickly use or equip items. Okay, Q. Okay. So... F to favorite, tab, wait, tab X's, X's it up, okay. Destruction, I know flames, let's, a gout of fire that does 8 points per target, targets of fire take damn extra damage, okay, favorite, and then I go back, okay. Oh, healing, I definitely need healing, heal the caster 10 points per second, yep. Okay, so there's my highborn power, uh, regenerate magic faster for 60 seconds, so I'm basically like sucking magic, like, out of the air, which I love. It's the circa like Katara when she learns how to blood bend and she sucks the water out of the flowers. It's just so cool. Alright, so let's equip that. And then my active effects is High Elves are Born with 50 extra magic, which is super helpful. Um, but where's my weakness? Because I know I'm weak to elements, and they gotta tell me that because I know I do not do well against magic. Well, maybe I'm in the wrong menu. Okay. Uh, skills? Oh shit. Okay. Level 1. Theoden. Okay, so this is the magic school, warrior school, and then the thief school. Okay. So I don't have a level up now. What's my highest? I have 25 illusion. I suck at all things warrior, of course. That's such like, that's so stereotypical. Like, oh, I'm an elf. How would I ever know what a barbarian or a warrior does? I'm too noble and fancy and froncy for that. Like, maybe I want to be a warrior. Maybe maybe I want to be an elven warrior. What about that? Oh my god, my archery sucks. I'm definitely not a true elf. Look at that. Terrible archery skills. Sneak sucks. Alchemy sucks. Oh my god. The only thing they gave me was illusion? Alright, well. I'm gonna use what I got. Alright, so Q. And then I would like fire, fire. How do I do fire, fire? No, fire, healing. Fire, healing. No, I want healing on left. All right, I'll figure this out eventually. Flame, flame, healing. How do I do both? 
One. That's both. Yeah. Flame left? No, healing left. So I want healing left. And this right. Okay. I'll figure it out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sweet magic. Oh, shit. Uh, ignore that fire you just saw. There's clearly nobody here. God damn it, I didn't know people were gonna be here already. Fuck you! Alright, now I'm playing on expert, so I don't really want to take that many hits, because I know I'm gonna get my ass killed. Back up, bitch. Burn! Think you're gonna behead me? Okay, that didn't go too bad. How did I put my hands down? Okay, there we go. Alright, what we got, what we got? Taking all your stuff minus your weapons, because I don't need that. Okay, that weighs way too much. Alright, I'm gonna stay in stealth mode. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Okay, I figured out how to block already. But it doesn't look like you block when you have spells. Which is normal. I expected that. I also have Fury? Maybe Fury and Fire? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that dragon is still, like, destroying everything. Yeah, no shit. Grab everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. How about some fury, bitch? Oh shit, you're supposed to wait. Okay, I charmed both of them. They should fight each other now. Okay, he stabbed that guy. Magic slow. Shit. How do I run? I haven't figured out the sprint key yet. Got what you got. All right, let's look around. Wine seems like something I could sell. Potions, free money. Oh, it's good to be able to like loot again. Like figuring out what you can loot and what you can't loot in games is so huge. And then you play like a new game and you don't know like what the containers or the things you need to loot are and it's so frustrating. Let's shut that. Taking your wine. Take all your stuff. Okay, so we got our first potions. Healing, magic, and stamina. Those will come in handy. So those are typical. Flower. Restores one point of health. Who just eats flour to heal? Ew, disgusting. I'm not gonna eat flour. I mean, maybe a potato or a cabbage, but I'm not gonna stuff flour into my mouth. That's disgusting. Carrots? Oh, shit, I didn't want to pick that up. Maybe I can cook it or something later. It's like dead rabbits hanging on the ceiling. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so, I know from alchemy I'm supposed to be able to, like, lick stuff. Uh, okay, restore magic from elf ears. Shoot, so that's, like, on the left side, too. I thought that was on the right for some reason. Is this frost? Is this poison? Weakness to magic. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat these, because I don't want to carry these. I just had a nice, wonderful breakfast of flour, wine, and potato because that's what I'm wearing so should I put on let's put on some armor let's do that and that and then keep that and then is there a helmet do I want a helmet no I don't want a helmet okay that looks a little bit better I like that 
Alright, I think I'm ready, but I need to figure out how to run. That's that. That's walk. Okay, that's walk too. Is it E? No. R for run? No, R is put stuff away. That's wait. One day I'll figure out how to Done. run. Let's get moving. Alright, maybe he'll just tell me later. We'll figure it out. I'm sure they have it written somewhere. So I think I'm in stealth mode. I don't know how to run. I know how to jump. Jump is spacebar. Okay, uh... Okay, fight everybody. Yeah. Alright, they're on me. Take him out. Hey, that actually worked. Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. Hang on, I'm trying See to put my hands down. See if you get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab it. Ooh, a hood. I'm a sucker for a good hood. I would like a hood, please. Go. Hey, it gives me 14 armor, for real? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. I like this. I definitely look like I'm, like, a runaway mage or something. Very cool. Alright, so he said something was locked. Book of the Dragonborn. The Book of the Dragonborn. Hmm, I think I should read this. Uh, many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in this book I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn uh, down through the ages. Uh, most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the Covenant of Akatosh, who was like the firstborn, uh, when the blessed Saint Alicia was given the Amulet of Kings and the Dragonfires in the Temple of the One, so that's all Oblivion lore, was first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alicia with this blood of dragons, because he's a dragon, and made a covenant that so long as Alessia's generation were true to, dragon, to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endear to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies. The Daedra-loving Aelids, those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon's blood, became known more simply as Dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the Emperor was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the Amulet of Kings, which is what we know from Oblivion, and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the Empire have been dragonborn. The Emperors and Empresses of the first uh, Cyrodiilic Empire founded by Alicia, uh, Raymond Cyrodiil and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septums, uh, Tiber Septum and his heirs, all of which died, uh, down to our current Emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septum IV. I feel like he's got to be from a different bloodline. Tyra Septum and his heirs down to our current emperor, his majesty. Because all the Septums died, we know that from the fourth one, so he's got to be like a different last name, I think. Maybe a same name, but different last name. Uh, because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the blessed Talos, who was Tiber Septum, yeah, Talos was Tiber Septum. Very few realize that being dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh descending upon them? All that we can say is that it's both and neither a divine mystery. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace, but we know for certain that the early Cyrodiilic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Raymond Cyrodiil was descended from Alessia, although there are many legends that would make it so most of them dating from the time of Raymond and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the Blades, usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguards, aka they don't know how to do their jobs and they suck, 
originated in Akaviri, crusaders who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late First Era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events of Pale Pass bear this out, and the Akaviri were the first to proclaim Raymond Cyrodiil as dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaviri who did the most to provoid, uh, promote his standing as emperor, although Raymond himself never took that title in his lifetime. And of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septum and any of the previous dragonborn rulers uh, of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The emperors have done their best to dismiss, to dismiss this notion, but of course the imperial succession itself means that at the very least there are two or more potential dragonborns at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs. The history of the blades also hints at this, although little is known of their activities during the in Terragum, between Raymond's empire and the rise of Tiber Septum, many believe that the Blades continue to search out and guard those they believe were, or might be, dragonborn during this time. Uh, lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon's blood. Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers, able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Indeed, it is well known that the Akaviri sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Raymond, Cyrodiil's dragon's guard again, the connection to dragons, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. So the blades used to be the dragon's guard? And they used to, like, hug dragons, it looks like. So there's, like, another connection to the blades from, like, Oblivion. That's super cool. I leave you uh, with what is known as the Prophecy of the Dragonborn. It's often said to originate in an Elder Scroll, although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akaviri. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that its omens had been fulfilled and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gift for mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. When Misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed uh, fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler lo loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Oh my god, that's ominous as fuck. That gave me goosebumps. Woo! Alright, well, that was pretty interesting, actually. I'm gonna keep this book. It's like a lot of good lore. I like this book. I will take this. I will put it in my li- ooh, lockpicks. I will put that in my library. Okay, Rayloaf is just looking at me like, Bitch, did you just sit there to read that whole book while the dragon's attacking the city? And I'm like, I had to. I couldn't just, like, not read it. Okay, but he said he wanted me to, like, open something. Is it this? Okay, so here's lock picking. Use mouse to rotate the lock pick, then W to rotate the lock. The closer the pick is to the correct position, the more the lock will rotate before the pick breaks. Only when it is in the correct position will the lock fully rotate and open. Okay, so that's pretty standard. I think this is kind of just like Fallout. Uh, more, well, more modern fallouts, I should say. There we go. Okay, we've got nothing in this one. Give me all your treasure. There we go. Okay, whoever was in here, they let him turn into bones. Oh man, there's like a dead mage in this one. Shit. How many of those do I have? 15. Okay, I should be okay. So what do you got? We got money, potion, and sparks. I would like to learn sparks. Lightning that deals 8 points of shock damage to health and magicka. Let's do that. So I've learned sparks. So now if I go back to magic... Is that destruction? Oh yeah, there it goes. And then... F, and then it's on my Q bar. Then I have lightning now? Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that's good. That's satisfying. I like that spell. Increase my magic by 30 points. 
Magic regenerates 50% faster. Ooh. That sounds good. Alright, so I want this hood on and these robes. Oh yeah. I look good. I look magey. I like this. I like the boots. I think the boots and the uh, the armlets work really good with this. And whenever you play a mage, I like having like an opened hand. Because like you're casting spells, so it doesn't make sense for you to like have a glove on and then like shoot a fireball through it. So I like like exposed fingers. Cool. Alright, is there anything over here? Oh, I also need to get a torch. You think they got a torch anywhere I can steal? I'm a big torch guy. Can I take this? No, that one's like bolted to the wall. I think the tunnel collapsed here. It's a candlestick. I thought you could take torches in Skyrim, or maybe I'm not remembering that right. Yeah, these ones are all like permanent torches, it looks like. Oh, wait a minute. Can I go this way? Oh my gosh, I can go where the where they came from? So this is where the Imperials came to like attack us. definitely still out there. <laughs> Ooh, more, okay. Oh, a key. That might help. Okay. I don't know if I should pick up the swords. They're kind of, they weigh a lot. I do want to have stuff to sell, though, when I get out. I'm assuming I don't have any money, and I don't like when that's the, uh, when that's the case. want to be able to, like, see what I'm looking at. What's that? Alright, we're just gonna have to keep going on. I don't have, like, a way to light up the screen yet, it doesn't look like. I like this Fury spell. I just don't know if it's working. I'm gonna try to get, like, better with it, though. It's like a Berserk spell. Like, I make them, like, attack who's ever closest to them, so it kind of, like, turns the tides if I'm, like, outnumbered, I think. I'm a big fan of the Illusion School, so it'll be fun to see, like, what kind of spells we have. Wait, why would I take his head? No, I don't, I don't want his head. We loot it there, we loot it there. It's a mace? Pretty good with magic right now. I don't think I really want to carry a weapon. Oh, Rayloff left my ass because I was taking too long. I understand. That's why I don't usually tend to have companions in this game, because I like to be thorough. Oh, I gotta level up. There's a dead guy in there. Take, oh, R is take everything. Salt pie. Okay, that's all. Oh. That was a poisonous effect. Alright, hang on one second. I'm gonna save. Let's do our first save. I've been captured by the Empire and sentenced to death alongside the Stormcloak rebels. We were taken to Helgen, but before I could be executed, a dragon appeared and attacked the town. I need to find some way to escape. Okay. Okay, let's do our save. Okay, so that's a save. So, how is that? Okay, we have a save. Alright. So let me just exit real quick. And I'm going to move my uh, camera over to the other side because it looks like the alchemy ingredients and some of the text is going to be like in this corner. So let me try and move it real quick.
Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Then stretch that. That over there, shrink it a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, wait, hang on. Almost got it. Okay, I think I got it now. Let's see how this looks, just so it looks a little bit better. All right, let's try this. Yeah, so I think that'll be a little bit better, like, while we're looting and everything. And, uh, so I don't, like, cover anything. Because when I was discovering some of the, uh, ingredients, I think I was covering it. So we know, so, so it looks like if you eat the first thing, you discover the first effect. So we're starting to, like, collect alchemical ingredients. He's not happy with me. Take you too long. All right, let's do this. Hanging with the Nords. Talos is the right god. <laughs> I just, I don't, I just think it's stupid that they're telling someone that they can't worship someone they've worshipped their whole life. General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Where are these guys? Oh. Okay, you guys fight each other. so it's not magic all the time. Okay. I'm trying really hard not to burn my teammates. Okay, I got that guy. Uh, that one. Here's some healing. I think we got him. Did anyone die? Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm new here. I don't usually play with mouse and keyboard. I thought I was going to lose you. I'm so glad you didn't die. Alright. Looks like my magic comes back pretty fast. Okay, arrows don't have weight. I like this. I like this. Uh, ooh, a bow. Yeah, let's, let's, get, uh, let's get a bow. That sounds like a really fun time. I usually like to play the bow. Okay, I'm taking all your stuff. Oh no, I don't want, I don't want your heavy armor stuff. How do I drop that? Let's drop. Shift? 
store equip. Uh, no, I don't want to wear it. R. Okay, R is drop. Okay. Then, can I pick these arrows up? There we go. Okay, that space bar's jump. Alright, you guys are going to stay here. Alright. Wait, what do I... Oh god, I'm naked. Yep, that's going to happen a couple times. Apparel. I think I want to wear my mage's robes. And my hood. Or no, not my hood. I want to use the... Uh... Where's the magic one? Not this hood. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. I think I looted everybody. I love that you can just hear uh, the dragon in the background, like, tearing everybody up, like, above ground. Like, how scary that is. Alright. So I have a bow now, so can I favorite that? And arrows. And then our... Nope, not R. Q. And then a longbow with arrows. Press R to ready your weapon. Come on, this oh shit, here we go. Now we got a bow. Oh yeah. Looks like the way out's up ahead. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I got my sneak level up? Hell yeah. Let's pull this lever. So is E pickpocket? It is, okay. Not that I would ever pickpocket in this what? I totally will never hit that button. Someone's not looking, and I'm sneaking. What the shit was that? Oh, the bridge is broken. Alright, well, I'm glad that wasn't my face. Alright, potion. Got a dead guy. Some gold. How much gold do we have? Okay, we've got 60 gold. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but I think in most Oblivion games, isn't it like $10 to like stay at an inn? Or something crazy like that? Over here. It doesn't go anywhere. Yes, we try oh, we got some spiders. Oh. <laughs> That's called sniper power. Ooh, another sneak. Oh, I missed you sneak attacks. I missed you. Oh my god. And then do I hit R to put my arrow away? Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, love that. Don't worry about that. Oh, shit, there's more. I was like, I'm a spider killer. I know, Raylo, if you don't have to tell me. Elves have been killing spiders since, like, before the Lord of the Rings. Like, we're living in the forest. We get attacked by bugs all the time. And they're usually three times as big as this one. So what can I loot here? Are these little, like, web sacks? Skeever tails. Alright, so those are rat <gasps> tails. Ouch. Did I step on a trap? Ooh, so I can get venom from these guys. Oh, yeah. oh my god, something's attacking me, though. I don't know if I'm stepping on something or what. Alright, spider eggs. I'm taking that. Well, I know that I can jump. guy here. Lockpick, take that. Alright, so I should eat these. Damage stamina, damage stamina. Okay. So can I equip that venom? 
potions. Then a blood freezing poison does five points to health and uh, stamina for four seconds. So favorite. And then R. No, Q. Can I just... Can I click these on stuff? Like... Oh my god. Level up. Okay. Let's do one... Two... Three... Four... Five. And then can I just do a five? And then a, a yes? Oh my god. This is so much cooler with like... Mouse and keyboard, you have so many more like hotkeys and things you can do. And you can do a lot of stuff on the fly. So now if I shoot something, my next arrow is already dipped in poison. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her. I got this, right don't worry about it. Let's try to sneak by. I got poison arrows. Nice and slow. Watch where you step. Back up, bitch! Sneaking is overrated, eh? Bears who? Who dat? To be fair, I had poison on that arrow, so I was ready for that. Oh my god. Oh shit. No, 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 don't go in the river. Alright, I almost just knocked my loot into the river. That would have been a bad time. That's a cool helmet. Okay, huh? Blackbriar mead. What did I knock into the river? Did I like not oh, knocked wine into the river. Alright. What's a bear have? Claws? Pelt? I get my arrows back? What do claws do? Restore stamina. Okay. So, bear claws, I what? I, I think you grind them down and then you snort them and then they restore your stamina? I'm loving this bow, by the way. I knew I would, but I really like this bow. Alright, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. I don't think I'm ready to fight a dragon, but I think I can handle a few more bears. You can adopt up to two children if you own a home. Okay. Wait. Oh shit. Wait, no, I don't want survival mode. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Wait, what? Good luck. Is he leaving me? Made it without your help today. Uh, yeah, thanks, Rayluff. I'll, uh... I'll figure out how to get to town by myself, I guess. He wants to split up with me? Really? Well, that's okay. That gives me time to, like, pick flowers and, like, take in where I'm at. Bye. Okay, so it loaded in some of the stuff from uh, one of the one of the mods I have. So I think I want to start it as, like, a, a normal playthrough. So let's drop anything that got added into my inventory. Gave me robes or something. Yeah. There we go. I'm following you, Rayloff. You're supposed to be telling me where to go. I I this is a new land to me. Is a butterfly? You know, you should go to Windhelm oh, nice. and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. Yeah, I don't like the Empire. You will know what the coming of the dragon means. It's over. It's a lot of flowers. He doesn't seem like he's, like, running away, so... He said he was heading to a town or something? I'm just gonna, like, follow him, see where he takes me. Get some flowers along the way. Mushrooms.
there's another butterfly. Looks like I can rip their wings off. Yeah, blue butterfly wings. Okay. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. Looks kind of cool. I guess you get used to it. Looks like some kind of like mountain temple. How much carry capacity do I have? 220 of 300. Okay, I can only pick up like 80 more things. Yeah, it sounds about right. I'm what, two minutes into the game and I'm already almost over encumbered? Looks like there's some stones over there. Guardian These stones. The Guardian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Oh, so these are the constellations. Uh, activate the stone. I want to do magic, but I really want to do thief. Because why? And uh, those under the thief will learn all stealth skills 20% faster. Sure. Thief, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. Hey, don't be don't be talking that shit, Rayloff. You don't know me. You know what I've been through. Alright, so I guess he's taking us to his town. I guess I should keep my bow out just in case something attacks us on the road. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. Like accidentally shooting someone with a bow and arrow? Let me do the talk. Or misclicking and using your racial power? <laughs> so it looks like it's like a, a river run like there's a like a big river running through here and I see like a, a moose in the background or like an elk I kind of want to kill it oh and there's wolves over there sneak attack oh Sniper! Alright, wolf pelt's good. Take my arrow back. Is that... Oh, look, he's still over there. Alright, guys, can I, can I pull this off? I'm gonna tip my arrow in poison. And I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I got it! I didn't think I was going to be able to get that. Large antlers. And some meat. Hell yeah. Well, I know what I'm selling when I get to town. I'm going to be the hunter. I got hides. I got meat. I got flowers. All of this better stay. Like, give me a stay in an inn. That's all I got to say. It's been a long journey. A long journey to get here. This is nice, like the sun setting. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Yeah, dude, I have no idea where anything is, so of course I'm gonna follow you. I haven't figured out how to use my uh, my racial power yet, um, but I do have it equipped, so it's supposed to give me like a bunch of mana when I'm like empty. Oh my god, I found Nernroot. Oh my god, so it begins. Hello, Nernroot, my old friend. Glad to see you're still singing. 
Glad to see you're doing well. Glad to see you're thriving. Oh shit. Okay. I'm sorry, Raylo, if I know. He's so patient. He's so nice to wait for me. I'm like, there's a whole world to explore. And he's like, hey, I'm so happy you decided to come with me. And then he just leaves me here. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> I got distracted, Rayluff. There was a lot of pretty flowers and an elk and a river. And I'm just trying to pick up all the things. Okay, it looks like this is the... Yeah, this is definitely a town. Okay, I think this is it. Riverwood. Okay. What? Me too, girl. Who's it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. You tell him, girl. Did I see you talking to Sven? What? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Raylo, what are you doing here? Um, Lord, tell me more about that dragon. Right Did you hear? The Riverwood trader was robbed. Poor Lucan must be torn to pieces over it. The store was robbed? By sure. What do you want? I want to know about the dragon. It's my boy Sven you need to listen to. He sings at the inn most every night. All right. Well, that's the s second time someone's dropped Sven, and I've been here for three seconds. Okay, it looks like they, like, cut trees down here, like, cross this lumber. Wood cutting axe. So before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Raylo. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Raylo, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> and I was there. As strange as it sounds, we so I think be this is a sister. Dragon. And this is her Confusion, husband? We managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gert, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any oh, nice. friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. You're gonna let me stay? Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, carrots, bread, cheese, meat. I'll take the mead. Lockpick's nice. Okay, potions are helpful. A ring. Okay, and yeah, I love wine. Thank you. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. Talk to the Jarl of White Run. Count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Okay, so that's like the... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric... Probably the city that, like, is in Don't charge worry. of this town. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's storm cloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. 
Okay. So she said we can stay with them, and she gave me a key to their house. And then it looks like Rayloff's gonna hang out here. It's also like 8 o'clock at night, so it looks like all the stores are closed. I'm almost level 2. Actually, I saw something on the road when we were coming here. There was like a pickaxe, like a pickaxe and a shovel. I don't have the most carry weight, but it could be like a mine or like a ruins or something, and I kind of want to check it out. And then once my inventory's full, I, uh, I want to head back to that store and see if we can get some gold before we head out. Also, I have things to eat. So we got these flowers. Resist fire. Restore health. Damage stamina. Antlers. Restore stamina. Restore some magic. Nern root, I'm not going to eat because I think I have to collect this, right? Purple mountain flower is restore stamina. I have a lot of restore stamina stuff. Restore magicka. Okay, these are nice. Resist fire. Okay, so snowberries and. Resist fire. Or resist frost. So snowberries and. Fly and uh, Amanita can go together. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think you can just do alchemy um, in Skyrim like you can in Oblivion. I think you have to actually like go to a, a station and do it. Um, so I think I'll just keep all my ingredients for now and then once I get to uh, a station. I will uh, start doing some alchemy. I think I have a few more venoms left if I get in trouble, so I can poison some stuff. Okay, so this is what I saw. It's like uh, a pickaxe and a hammer. And, like, usually these di different symbols mean different things, like, on the map. Like, there's certain, uh, encounter points. Ember Shard Mine. Okay, so this is a mine. Alright, well, I'm a big crafting guy, so I want to check this out. What? Detected. Oh, shit, there's an orc. Are you friendly? Hmm? Now, ain't this no, no, he's a bandit. Nope. I don't mess with you guys. I really need to learn how to, like, run. I don't know what the run button is. I'm gonna have to look that up, actually. Back up. I'm not dying to bandits. So this looks like maybe it's, like, a mine that, like, bandits run or something? Definitely looks like it's worth checking out. Alright, let's go in here and then let's see uh, if I can figure out how to uh, sprint. And also a torch would be nice. Where is it? I think it's settings, maybe system? Settings. Controls. Forward, back. Ready, sheath. Sprint. Alt. Oh, you have to do it with your other thumb. Okay. We can try that. So I... Oh, okay. I don't hate it. I just have to get used to it. Okay, so that's how I run my stamina goes down. Oh yeah, so you can pick these up. Activate torch. Can I carry this with me? Ugh, much better. I actually have a torch. Okay, so that's to put the fire swing with it. And then put my hand down. Okay, there we go. Okay, very cool. Let's check this mine out. Yeah, that was 
clearly a trap. That was just like the most obvious wire in the world. Good to know that I'm still gonna have to look out for those. charm people into uh, fighting each other and then like kind of take advantage of the carnage. That's really cool. And I still have a little bit of room to pick stuff up. please so you can actually like gather from um, va uh, veins in this one too like in oblivion they're just kind of rocks and you like click on them and sometimes they have things in them but you can actually gather like from them in this which is really cool So going in the water disables my torch. If that makes sense. So basically I think I just want to try and get like a foothold or like some kind of money like production going and then once I have that we can figure out if we can make it to right like white run or what we want to do it's a journal uh, they've had me working down here for days now it's not the time that's getting to me though it's these tunnels I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of tunnel if only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforce with bronze bottoms Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? So literally, there's like tunnel collapse down here because they like don't know how to run the mine. My bow. I thought we had a guard first. Three? There we go. Did. Your eyes peel. Is someone there? No. Got it! Got your back! Oh! Alright, what did I? That's three, four. There we go. Fight yourselves. Why is he still, okay, he's still on me? I love this, you can just like make people fight themselves.
nobody can handle my mighty illusion skills. It's not too bad, actually. Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. It happened so soon. I wasn't expecting it. Alright, what do we got that we can, like, throw away? Like a couple of these swords. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to equip a sword. Oh, there's a sack of gold up there. to hit to uh, just wanted my torch out. What's that? Uh, shows the path to the current goal. New spell learned. Over encumbered again. Crap. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be uh I need to sell some stuff. I kind of wanted to get some iron. So I think I can light him on fire and then torch slap him. Back up. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I actually like that. Well, key. Armor. Alright, I will come back, because I can't, uh, I have no carry weight. Oh, a garnet, so I got a gem from that. Yeah, let's, we're gonna have to come back, it's, uh, I'm too over-encumbered. Get a garnet though. What is that under? Misc. Couple torches, garnet. Can I look at this? I can twirl it. Can I zoom it? Cannot equip. I thought there was a zoom button. Oh, C. Nice. Looks like a blood tier. I'm sure it'll fetch a high price. That's what I'm hoping for anyways, I have no money. I came to a completely foreign country with like five dollars in my pocket. I'm just trying to figure out this shit as I go. Alright, so let's go back to town. And see if we can stay in uh, Girder's house. And wait till morning. Probably easier to find stuff in the morning too, honestly. So close to level two. Yeah, that's you know that's why I really like my. Uh, I'm a big torch user. Like, you can kind of like juggle your spells with it. You can attack with it. You can pick them up, and then if you're super stealthy, you can actually take these off the wall and take away light from the enemy and then use stuff to, like, enhance your eyes and kind of get more sneak attacks, but... I don't know, there's something about walking around in nature with, like, a torch that's, like, super relaxing. I love it, and it makes me feel like I'm back, like, in the olden days. Like, this is how I have to be able to see at night. <laughs> that's okay, some people never do. I don't know, and it's also kind of like a throwback to me, too, because in Oblivion, like, torches are all over the place, so... I just feel like it's like another thing that kind of connects all the games together, so I like torches. Alright, so now I just have to get to Girder, Girder's house. Which I know that's the inn, that's the store, that's the blacksmith, that's the old lady's house. So does Survey say it's this one? 
just get they got a they got a moose or a cow I should say. Take this chicken egg. Oh shit! Of course I pick up the chicken egg and I'm over encumbered. I walk a very fine line. Uh, Hod and Girder's house. Yeah, this is the one. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? Every time. Those chicken eggs will get you every time. Like, I saw it and it didn't say steal. Picked it up. Now look at me. Can't even walk. That's how you know you're in an Elder Scrolls game. And so there's a bed there. She's chilling. Am I just supposed to sleep on the floor? I guess I'm supposed to sleep here. I mean, it's not like, you know... I won't call it the lap of luxury, but at least I have a roof. Oh yeah, that's right. Why don't we eat some food? Um, I don't want to drink my wines. Let's eat this apple. Alright, I'll drink a little bit of wine. There we go. Time to get a little tipsy. We just had a dragon almost kill us. <laughs> uh, guys, can I, like, have a bed? Or, uh... Does your husband not care if I just take this spot over here? I really might have a bad back. I need to sleep in a bed. Uh, hit me with that nine hour sleep, please. So now if you rest in this game, I think you get like an experience bonus. Should say you are now well rested. Yeah, you awake feeling rested. And then I think it's under active effects. So my hood gives me that, highborn gives me that, okay. Arrested, all skills improve 5% faster for 8 hours. And then if I stay at like an inn or like a better establishment, I think I can even get it higher to like 10% or something like that, so. But for just sleeping in a random bed, I'll take 5%. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Oh, you making dinner breakfast? Damn faithless Imperials. I know, fuck the Imperials, am I right? Next Imperial I see is dead. Agreed. Um, you really think I should join up with Ulfric? Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. Okay. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. I mean, I want to talk to him. He kind of seemed pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Chris? You think El Wolfric is a dickhead? Uh, Chris, what did he do to you? Did he hurt you? Is he bad? Should I, like, should I, like, get a lot of speech skill and try to, like, find all his secrets? Uh, you make a good case. Maybe I'll go to Windhelm. You think Elfric knows what the dragon... Yeah, do you know... You think he knows where the dragon came from? Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants... Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you okay. have your own score to settle with the Empire now. Yeah, that's true. And with that dragon. I don't know, I think the dragon did more help for me than bad, but we definitely have to take out the, uh, the Imperials. Uh, neither side is good. Oh, don't you love that when no matter which side you pick, you feel like a dickhead? I'm like, it's good. We like to have, like, moral gray area. But so far, the uh, Stormcloaks didn't try to cut my head off, the Stormcloaks didn't arrest me, and the Stormcloaks helped me escape. So, in terms of who do I like more right now, I think I'm leaning like towards the Stormcloaks. Uh, you make a good case, maybe I'll go. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on, we better get moving. Okay, you just keep making your breakfast. Oh, interesting. So I don't even have to pick a side? I wonder if that, like, changes my ending, too. Sometimes games do that, but... You know me, I'm always getting involved in everybody's shit. I'm probably just gonna, like, pick a side. I don't know if I'm gonna be neutral if they start doing some bullshit. I'm just gonna be like, alright, enough. Take these guys out. But I'm definitely not on Team Imperial after they tried to cut my head off for no reason. Hello. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Uh, bitch. You'd be so lucky. She doesn't seem like the most pleasant person to talk to. I'm gonna go hit up the store. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? 
and don't mind me. Just wanted to take a look upstairs while you guys are fighting. We are done. Shit. He used to be faster at this. I think if I'm not fast enough, they might find me. Talk. Nice! I got a level up for that. Okay. This. I just wanted to take a look. Hello. I was here the whole time. What's going on? You two look like you were fighting. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Your brother? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, according to the old lady outside, you guys had a break-in. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Do you have spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Ooh. College of Winterhold? He'll sell me spells? I can barter? I'm getting excited. Items above the divider line belong to the vendor. Items below the line belong to, uh, belong to you. To buy or sell an item selected, press E. Okay. So I have 189 gold, and he has much more. He has 800 almost. Let's see what he's got. That's all crap. Blue mage robes. A circlet of minor magicka. Increase my magic by 20, and it's a crown? That seems kind of good. Okay, there's a backpack. Carrying capacity increased by 75 points. I definitely need to get a backpack. Can I scroll? Oh, scroll does that, and then... Okay, I can do that, too. A mage backpack. Carrying capacity increased by 75 points and increases your magic up by 20. That also seems good. Looks like he's got a scroll, a potion, and a soul gem on it. He's got some novice robes of conjuration and illusion. Conjuration spells cast 12 less, magic regenerates 50% faster, and illusion spells cost 12% less. Or destruction spells cost 12, and alteration spells cost 12, but they're $3,000. Uh, that's a little out of our price range right now. It's going to max our credit cards out. Robes of illusion? I need those. I have been casting a lot of illusion spells. Or restoration? Maybe healing would be really good. I know I'm going to have to heal. Ring of lockpicking. Lockpicking is 15% easy. Easier. Or more mana. That also seems good. Or sneaking. Ooh. Ooh. I want all this stuff. Give it to me! Give it to me! Oh my god, Tails! How's it going? Good to see you, man. How's it been? Uh, we've made it over to Skyrim, your favorite game. Long live the Nords. We just, uh, we just, uh, broke out with the Stormcloaks. I made it to, uh, River One. I'm just trying to sell my stuff. <laughs> uh, I think this is Tails' favorite game, isn't it? Right, Tails? Don't you love the Nords? Oh, man, you've been working double shifts? Oh, no, Oblivion? Okay, I wasn't sure. And so they have you running ragged, like, overtime? I remember one time I was working, and I was putting in, like, what was it, like, almost 40 hours. I want to say it was, like, 38, 39 hours. I just remember they wouldn't give me 40 hours, and I was still going to school, and I wanted to intern for another department, and the bosses were so mad at each other that they wouldn't give me any hours to work with the other one. So I had to come in on a Saturday at, like, ass crack of dawn, like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., to do, like, four to six hours at the other department to, like, get credit for it. And so I was doing, like, over 40 hours, going to school, this and that, run all over, and I'm like, ugh, it's just some... It's, it's not fun to do that for a prolonged period of time. It's really stressful. 60 hours a week? Holy crap. That's crazy. Do they at least give you, like, um... What's it called? Sometimes you get paid more when you take, like, the third shift. Like, if you do the Midnights or the, uh... At our place, it was called, like, the Twilight Shift. I don't think it was a lot. It might have been, like, a dollar more an hour or something. I can't remember what it was now. It was something like that. 
but we're glad to see you're alive. Glad to see everything's okay. 60 hours is insane. He's got some good potions, this guy. Yeah, plus you're getting... Uh, you must be getting an insane amount of overtime, too. At this point, they should be giving you... You know, if it was up to me and you're working that kind of hours, I'm like, just give him six times pay. He deserves it. <laughs> okay, sells food and books. So this is why I'm interested in this guy. He said he sold spell books. I already have this clairvoyance spell, so I don't need this. Frostbite, a blast of cold that does eight points per second to health and stamina. I'll buy that. Increase my armor rating by 40 and negate 40 points of magic. That's good, because I'm a high elf. I'm going to need to block spells. Oh my god, because you got in an hour late. Oh my gosh. Has it been, like, super warm where you're at, too? Like, we've been dealing with uh, all the heat, basically. So we just finally had a break in the weather. Oak Flesh, increase the caster's armor by 40 points for 60 seconds. That seems really good, because I'm a mage. I don't really have a lot of armor. Ugh. Like, hot and muggy, or like, hot and humid, is like the worst temperature ever. Like, I don't know how people live in the desert. I don't know how people do California. I don't know how people do Texas. I'm like, you guys are amazing. I think you're like a super breed of people. Like, you must have like some super X-Men genetics in you that you can withstand the heat, I swear to God. Yeah, like, I, oh my God. It hit like 99 here the other day and I thought it was gonna do triple digits and I almost fell out my chair. I'm like, it's not supposed to be that hot. That's like criminally hot. Oh, goodness. Like, I have to use, like, a humidifier and different things like that, like, especially going into, like, the winter months, because, like, the air gets so dry, like, everything cracks, everything's dry, your throat's always sore, and, uh, it's just, like, I have to have, like, I need the air to be moist, or else I just feel like I'm wilt like I'm wilting away. I think I want to buy this spell, but I need 137 gold pieces for it, so I'm gonna have to sell them some stuff. <laughs> You're a desert creature, get used to it. Oh, so you have the opposite. So you have stuff that takes water out of the air? Oh my gosh. So crazy. Like, I still think if we, like, tested Chris, I think he'd have, like, some mutant genes in him. It's gotta be, like, after seven generations of living in the same place, these people have gotten an immunity... Because, like, I think of, like, the Arctic Tundra or people who live in the desert or it's just hot, hot, hot or cold, cold, cold. And then they talk to him. They're like, oh, it's not so bad. You know, I walk around naked in the snow and I only get cold after, like, an hour. And then I'll just put a shirt on and I'm okay. And I'm like, that guy's not normal. That guy's got some kind of, like, cold immunity that the rest of us just don't have. Something's going on. <laughs> that guy is me. <laughs> oh my gosh, an hour? So that just shows you, like, how much was, like, in the air that it was able to, like, fill up so fast. That's nuts. Ray zombie. We got necromancer spells in this game? Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you. Alright, let's do... I want oak flesh. Let's try and get oak flesh. And then he's just got some... Some random stuff. Soul gems, lock picks, couple. He's got a couple wolf pelts too. All right, let's sell him some stuff. All right, have some swords, all these daggers. Only need one bow. Get rid of that. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, so I just read the uh, the Book of the Dragonborn or whatever, and it was like trying to cross over the Oblivion lore and the Septum bloodline and uh, Akatosh's blessing and the, like the the Dragonborn lore for like this game. It's pretty interesting so far for like the first book that I've encountered in this game. But I'm excited to like learn more of the lore too now that like we know what we know from Oblivion. I think you can just buy all this stuff honestly, right? Where's the value of it? Plus 25. Or no, E is sell. 
Where does it show you how much he's gonna pay me for? Oh, 16. Okay, zero. We'll take these. And these are heavy, so take all of these. Seven, six. Get rid of these. I'm doing a purge. I have two Venoms left. Decent enough on potions. I got some meat. Some random uh, wine and alcohol I picked up. I'm not selling you my... that. Okay, that I picked up. I'm going to keep this. This is the Book of the Dragonborn. And then I got a couple Garnets. Okay. I want to buy your books. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Give me your spells. I want oak flesh. And I think I want to pick up this ward spell because I'm a high elf. I can't be taking magic to the face. I already know Fury. I already know Clairvorance. I guess I'll just pick this up just to have it. Um, did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Yeah, I can help you do that. Now that I have all these new spells. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Dude, it's by the nine. The nine divines. Talos is a god. Stop saying by the eight. Ah! I don't know why that triggers me so much. Like, we spent all of, what, Morwen, all of Oblivion saying by the nines, and now it's by the eight. Like, I'm gonna have to punch someone. Yeah, this is, ep this is our first episode, Tales. I just started this today. This is uh, Skyrim Special Edition with um, a couple of the mods from the Creation Club I got for free that uh, don't disable achievements. So this is like the Game of the Year Edition. And I'm also trying to play it with mouse and keyboard. I usually play it with a controller, so trying to learn everything. It's been good, pretty good so far. We've got like, I think I just got a level up and I've got 400 gold after buying all my spells. Um, Frostbite, Ward, Open Flesh, Ray Zombie. So now I just have all those spells. Hell yeah. The power of bartering and being a loot hoarder. Like, I'm getting used to it. Like, some of the things I like, but I have to, like, train my brain to do, like, the E up, down, you know, do the amount. Like, I'll get used to it, but after trying to figure out and playing Fallout, because we just finished playing the first Fallout game, it's like a welcome change. Because doing that inventory system and using stuff is so different than this. Alright, when your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magic, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Uh, available perks are highlighted in each constellation. Okay. I would like more magic, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It was insane. Especially, like, the final episode. Like, uh, that game... I Like, it was rough at the start, but then I figured it out. And then uh, I really enjoyed it. But, oh my god, in the ending of that game, like, it tests you. That's all I'm gonna say. It, like, really tests you. But it was a good series. I really enjoyed it. Um, I like the lore in it. I like the characters. Um, there's like a lot of there's a lot of stuff I like about, it and a lot of things that uh, I'm glad they kind of changed and improved on. But overall, I did enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. It like makes me excited for uh, Morrowind. I could do alchemy. I'm kind of big into illusion right now, but what is? What is this oak flesh? Cast novice level alteration spells for half. Dual cast alteration spells overcharges. Adept. 
protection spells like stone flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. That seems good. Block 10% of a spell's effect. I think I need that because I'm a high elf. Um, I am having fun with archery. Could do archery. Sneak seems fun. Lock picking I'm pretty good at. Maybe pickpocketing for speech. Uh, I think we could save the speech one because it looks like that'll help me when I'm selling stuff. Um, right now I'm kind of like a, like a stealthy mage kind of character. Like I have the thief stone, but I definitely like spells. Because I have like all this mana to use, so I'm using magic too. And I've been using a lot of illusion spells too. Yeah, pretty much like that. Kind of like a knife blade, like shadow mage. Animals... I'm gonna do... Healing seems like a no-brainer. Let's do healing. It's always good to have healing. Uh, where did his sister go? Did she just leave? I wasn't ready to leave, lady. The bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. I still have to sell my you shit. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Yeah, Rayloff showed it to me. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. A lot of traps, if it's like the alien ruins, we know that. Do I have to follow her, or can I stay in town? I still have to sell some stuff. And we need to find um, an alchemy station. Oh my god, you're right. I sold some of my bracers and my boots and then I just they didn't put them on. Luke and found the claw. Okay, there we go. After he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. Is it <laughs> running around barefoot? This it must think I'm crazy. Town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Don't mind me, I'm still figuring out how to do this. Okay, so she's heading back, so it's up this way, but I'm not uh, I'm not done selling my stuff yet, lady. There is money to make. I guess I should check the inn out, too. This is an ode to Skyrim's Orgnar. staunch protectors, Orgnar. the Imperials. Are you listening? Hard not to. So there's Sven. Drink to our youth, to days come and gone. Yep. The age of aggression is just about done. Let's make sure we get a fresh batch. We'll drive out the storm oh. and restore Listen, what dude, we owe. dude. Feindall thinks wrong song, wrong song. Away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Also, I saw a dragon in Helgen. Your mom's not crazy. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. I mean, she's crazy, but she's not crazy for that reason. He needs to know about this. I already, I already know I have to talk to the Jarl. You and Feindel both like the same girl. When did you learn to play so well? Is there, yeah, is there somewhere I can get some supplies? Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Okay, I need to see the blacksmith. Um, where'd you learn to play? At the Bard's College in Solitude. They train bards and skalds like myself. If you go there, talk to the Jarl. He's the headmaster. There's a Bard's College? Okay. Yeah, can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Play the, uh... I think Ragnar the Red is the good song, right? Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero <laughs> named Ragnar. It sounds like I need to check it out. It seems like a troll. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of bold battles in gold he had made. Okay, yeah, you play us out. All right. But then he went quiet. Did You're that visitor been poking around. Uh, yeah, I'm new in town. 
I see you have a I'm the innkeeper. Alchemy station. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Can I rent a, that from you? We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Um. Wait, how do I use your? I want to use your alchemy thing. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Uh, oh yeah, can I use the alchemy lab? Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister <laughs> makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. Wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion. For sale too. So basically you're saying you want your tuition reimbursed from the Bard's College, it wasn't worth it? <laughs> I want to at least learn how to play like a flute. I Honestly, okay, if any of you guys have seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it's the second one. The guy with the blue skin who has the mohawk, and he whistles... And the arrow, like, zings around him and he can control it with his voice and, like, his sounds he makes. That's the kind of bard I want to be. And I want to sing my arrows at people. So if that's a possibility, I'm going to the bard's college. The bard's daycare. <laughs> oh my god. Are you saying they don't have a five star? Are you saying they're not a top tier accredited university? They're just a bunch of has-beens? Oh man. I know there was no bard's college in Oblivion. And I don't remember there being a Bard's College talked about in Morrowind. So, uh, I think this is like a new invention for Skyrim, so who knows what that means. Um, I'm in need of some work. Do you have anything? What have you got to sell? Until next time. Um, so he said I could use the alchemy station. Uh, uh, not yet, Tails. It's probably, uh, I've been going from, like, old game to new game. And then, so once I switch back, uh, probably Morrowind's next up on the, uh, itinerary. Um, you can create potions, potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients that share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients, uh, to learn their effects. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. I think that if I, because I've beaten Fallout 1, that if I go back and try to do, uh, Morrowind now... I think I could actually maybe do it, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of rage in that game too while I'm trying to figure everything out. Alright, so I think I ate everything, except a chicken egg. Yeah, so let's eat that chicken egg real quick. Resist magic. Okay, that'll be good. Oh yeah, for sure. I can't remember, what episode did you come in, Tails, when we were playing um, Oblivion? Because now you're on episode one, so you're here from the start, so this'll be good. And it's Skyrim, so you'll get plenty of, uh, there'll be plenty of Nords. Nords will be had. You'll have a lot of Nord quests. Okay, yeah. So you're getting, you're getting quite a head start. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I used to know a few um, recipes from Heart uh, back when I played this before. Oh yeah, the Fighters Guild was one of the last factions I did in my Oblivion playthrough. So you came in like right before the end, I think. It was like Fighters Guild, a couple Danger Quests, a couple Gates. And then uh, we did the main story last after getting to Max and all the factions. I'm just going to start combining stuff. Okay, ooh, damage magical regen, regen, fortify conjuration. Okay, so this is a, po a poison I just made. It's one that I remember from when I played before, and it sells for 242 a pop. Talk about money. Get those free alchemy levels. Um, I'm trying to see what else I remember combines well. It's spider eggs and... Is it this one? Yeah, also damage magic or regen. So that's 17, and then pop those together. Take another level. What else do I remember? Uh, thistle branches and maybe snowberries? Yeah, res they resist frost. And then skeever goes with salt. No. Let's just try to combine all the flowers real quick and see if they combine. Generate stamina, that seems good. We got like four levels in alchemy already. 
The only thing I don't want to fiddle with is the Nurn Root, because I know I'm going to need it. Oh, another Resist Frost? Really? Yeah, let's make these. Level 20! Ugh. I'm getting the alchemy tingles. I'm, a, you know, that was the first skill I ever got to 100 in Oblivion. Like, I love a good alchemy. I love, I love alchemy. That does nothing. That does nothing. Does this do anything? No. This one? No. Okay, we tested everything. Very nice, very nice. Uh, regular Nurn Roots are not linked to a quest in this game. They're fairly common. Are you sure? Don't they always put, like, a quest in, um, the Elder Scrolls where you have to get, like, 20 or 50 Nurn Root? I think I had to get, like, 60 for Sindarian. But Sindarian was amazing, so I didn't mind doing it. He was so good. Oh, he said that I could buy ingredients from him? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Uh, you got any, like, alchemy stuff? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. What do you got? What do you got? A bee. Blisterwort. Kyrus eggs. Creep. Elf's ear. Hagraven jezbe. Purple rock, salt, snow, and wheat. So he said wheat? And blisterwort? Which is a mushroom? Let's buy all these up. And then see what happens. i am almost got another level. Uh, there's a Blackbriar in Riften that has 20 Nurn Roots as a quest. Okay, I'll try that, Tails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Ducky. I thought there was a, a quest where you had to get 20 Nurn Roots. Like, usually, usually it, it, it's got some kind of quest, or you find it or something. There's always someone who wants Nurn Root in these games, I swear. Alright, so let's combine these. So, Blisterwort and Wheat... Uh, craft. Okay, so that makes a restore health potion, so that seems pretty good. I'm definitely gonna need health potions. And then you said wheat and blue mountain flower. Oh, yeah, good one. That's a fortify health one. Uh, fortify health. Uh, health is increased by 18 points for 60 seconds and restore 22 points of health. That's actually really good. It's a good recipe. What else we got? Blister word and blue? Potion of Restore Health. Okay. Alright, not bad. I only know because finding 20 Nerf Roots was exhausting. I had to find like 65 Ducky when I played Oblivion. I feel ya. I feel ya on that one. It's like, where are these freaking plants? I've gotta get 50 plants for this guy. And he's just like, every time you talk to him, he's like, hey. Did you get those flowers? Hey, do you have my flowers yet? Hey, I need those flowers from you like yesterday. And I'm like, dude, you need to get out and find these flowers if you want them so bad. I am not the one for you. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was I looking for? I need to keep selling my stuff. That's what I need to do. All right. Oh, did I level up? Alright, I'm like a little tickle uh, from being level uh, level 3. Maybe I can get another speech skill if I sell all my potions to uh, this guy. So I'm pretty sure it's like in all the other games, you can only sell certain items to certain vendors until you like level up your speech enough. So I think he's just a general store, so he takes most stuff. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Dude, I'm on it. Give me a second. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. You got the best high elf in town. I might be the only high elf in town, but I'm definitely the best. Alright, he's got 500 bucks. Do you want to buy some of my potions? Like my poisons? I mean, 61, I mean, that's pretty good money. We got $800. Can I buy that ring? How much was that ring? Lock picking is 15% easier. More mana. I kind of really want... I want more mana. Sneaking is better. Sneaking might be good. 
I kind of want more mana. I'm a big mana guy. I like to have mana. All right, I'm going to come back and buy that from you. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I need like 30 more dollars. Old blacksmith, would you like any of my wares? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Whatever you need. Ice this guy's a big Nord. And strong. I can forge. Big Nord energy. The finest weapons and armor. All right, what you got? What you got? Oh, he's got a hunting bow. I will take a hunting bow. I already have a pickaxe. Steel arrows. Pretty basic stuff, honestly. <laughs> I would hope so, Tails. Imagine if I'm just running around uh, Skyrim and there's crazy Khajiits and Argonians running around. Be like Blackwater Marsh up in here. Carrying capacity is increased by 25 points? What are... Hello? Sir. Sir. W sir. Let me tell you. Whatever you want for these boots, you can have it. Because level 1, basically, lifting boots? Are you kidding me? 2,146. I can get that. I can get that. Those seem really good. What else you got? Leather, steel. Got any magic shit? No, it's pretty much heavy and light. Okay. Yeah, I've never... Yeah, I'm like... That's usually a really high-level enchantment, isn't it? He's got, like, ore and stuff. Okay. Uh, buy all these weapons. I'd, oh, wait, I already sold all my weapons, didn't I? God damn it. I don't want to sell him this stuff. Alright, we'll just earn the rest of the money and we'll get that ring eventually. I don't want to sell him my crafting stuff. Um, do you need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Well, lucky for me, I'm well rested, so we'll get an XP bonus. Yeah, I'm, that's pretty good, because I think that's like two swords and a, a dagger or a sword almost, just for... That's pretty good. Um, can I use your forge? Yeah, can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. Oh, wait till you see my skill. Grindstone will improve your weapons. I'm the best. The I'm the best smith around. Your armor. I'm if very good at making bent stuff. You can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Can All I use right. the forge, please? Thank you. Blacksmithing forge is used to create new weapons and armor from raw materials. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Iron. Studded leather. Oh, I can make jewelry? Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be making jewelry. Look how much this stuff sells for. Holy crap. Silver sapphire necklace. Okay, so this is the uh, the stuff you build for, like, your house, um, which is part of, like, the Hearthfire expansion, I think. So I'll definitely be making a lot of house stuff, too. Oh, we can make a backpack. Right, how do I make a backpack? We can make arrows. Hunter backpack. Carrying capacity increased by 75. Bows do more damage. That might be good. It's got a torch on it. Corundum and leather. Or maybe this mage is one? I do like mana. Carrying capacity based lockpicking is 15% easier. That also looks good. Corundum and five leather. Okay. Let's see if he has any corundum. Whatever you need. I. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I need one corundum, please. Oh, he does have one. I'll take one, please. All right. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think uh, a mage's backpack or the uh, thief's tools? I mean, I am going to be picking a lot of locks, so it might be good to have the lock picks right there. I kind of like the thief backpack, honestly. I want the one with the wine. Let's do this one. Okay, five leather. Yeah, it's been going really well, Tails. 
We uh, we had fun in Fallout. We were doing Oblivion before that. We finished up uh, Ark the Lad. Now we're back to Skyrim, so it's been going well. <laughs> Just keep on going up. Okay, I didn't read what that said, but I think it said I could make uh, leather out of uh, hides. Oh yeah, here we go. There's my deer hide, my bear hide. All right, so that's five leather. So I need to. I can make three strips. One, two, three. Okay. Let's do this. I want a thief backpack, please. I'll take this one. Not bad. So I was able to make a backpack, so that's good. And then he said he wanted an iron dagger. I wonder if I... Do I have enough for that? Uh, one iron ingot and one leather strip. Okay. And then I'm just gonna make another one. Because why not? Alright, let's put my backpack on. So now I have 375. And I have this super cool, like, backpack with, like, my dagger, my lockpicks, my arrows are on it, my wine, my little rope. Got my nice little explorer's backpack. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's Here's your simple. dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. All right. Until next time. Grindstone. Use the grindstone to improve weapons. All improvements require specific materials which you can buy or find in the world. Can I enhance my hunting bow that I'm going to use? I can. I can make it fine. Let's do that. And then he wants me to sharpen a dagger. Okay. You looking for a new blade? This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Um, tanning leather. Okay, okay, I know how to do that. That's this one. Uh, so deer hide that gives me two. Okay. I could forge you a war. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings. That kind of thing. Hide helmet. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. Good day. So I can improve my boots? Oh wait, he said make a hide helmet. Whatever you need. So that's this, hide. Hide helmet. Leather strip and leather. Yep. Sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Oh, don't tell me you have some nice daggers. I'm definitely the sneaky type. Hmm. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. I mean, you can. Let's I'm looking for money. Fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. I have some iron. To the workbench. Until next time. Workbench. Alright, let's do... Hide helmet. And then... One on my boots. One on my bracers. There we go. You looking for a new blade? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Oh, Maybe nice. You'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Looking to protect yourself? That's so just like a nice little introductory quest to kind of show you how to start crafting. It's got 916 bucks, though. Alright. I don't need this longbow anymore. I have a hunting bow now. 11 leather strips and some ore. I need to turn them into bars, though. I don't have nearly enough money to get the ring I want yet. So let's reset this up. Uh, favorite. And then I hit Q. 
and then set this one to there. There we go. So now I've got my bow set. Alright, I don't look too bad. Alright, so I don't think I can craft anything more, and I don't... He won't buy anything, because I sold all my stuff. Let's uh, get our level up. I'm still going to take more magic. Um, I'm actually going to... I want to play around with this alteration skill. I have to equip it. It's like a new spell. Uh, improve the caster's armor rating by 40 points for 60 seconds. Alright, so let's put this on... Six? How's this work? Oh, so I just like enchant myself and now I have like a buff? And then my armor... Where's it showing me my armor? Yeah, my armor rating with that spell on goes from 16 to 56, which is like huge. Alright. And then I click this to put the bow back. It's not too bad. Then I think I have Frostbite and one other spell to equip. Clairvoyance, Fury, Frostbite. Raise a weak zombie to fight for you. And then Lesser Ward for Mage users and my Highborn power. Yeah, so now it shows up as a buff. Oak Flesh. Armor Oak. So I basically, like, make my skin, like, hard like a tree. That's cool. Alright. So we did that, we did that. Carrying capacity is better. I have 375, 58. Um, but I basically got roped into helping these guys get this golden claw. Uh, so let's go ahead and check this place out. He says it's up in the barrow, past the bridge. I think it's time to try my newly sharpened, uh, strung bow and see how the extra damage, if it helps me or not. I know if I find any ore, because uh, I have a pickaxe, I can, like, mine it, too. I'm assuming at some point I'll be able to, like, make it into bars and craft with it, so I'm just going to hold on to it for right now. Back off, woof. And then I hit R, and I can put my arrow away. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine, because uh, I don't think we're really ready to go to uh, Whiterun yet. I know I don't have, like, nearly enough money. So let's go see how we do over here. place looks snowy. Oh, there's someone over there. Ah, oh, I missed. I got a sneak level up for it, though. Because now she's, like, looking for the disturbance. All right, yeah, I'm detected. All right, so I figured out run is alt. Yeah, so that's how I run. Yeah, I figured he would come in clutch. Eventually, I'm going to take some hits. Take all this stuff and take it back down to the town to get more money. 
I ordered Ford at midnight at a plaza tonight for that I don't have to deal with drunk people. Oh my gosh. Is that like an issue? Like, does that happen a lot? Because um, actually, we were watching a video. There's a new game that just came out. Uh, a lot of like YouTubers and stuff are playing it off of Steam. And it's about a night security guard, and he has to like let certain people in or out of like the car park. And it's also kind of like a horror spooky game. But uh, you saying that you have to worry about drunk people made me think about it. Oh, I hope not. I hate when people do that. <laughs> it's like, don't be drunk in a nuisance and then come over here and make my job worse or my day worse. Oh uh, yeah, Markiplier was playing it. Yeah, what'd you think of it? Did you think it looked good? I don't know if it's like fully done or what they're doing with it, but it looks kind of spooky. Yeah, agreed. People are assholes and I don't like it. I'm like, why don't we treat people how we want to be treated? Like, did we forget that? Uh, that was like the first lesson in what? Kindergarten, first grade? Ah, oh shit. Like an old woman Back up. I got oak flesh. Ah. You're not going to kill me that easily. No. <laughs> I'm kind of liking this bow, I'm not going to lie. I love just like seeing the arrows stick out of them. Alright, I need to heal. Wait a minute, I didn't check out that tower. So these are the two arrows I shot that missed that hit the tree instead of her. <laughs> the stealth archer. I mean, it is fun, but I'm definitely gonna, I'll be doing some different things here in a minute, but for right now, I feel kind of like safe and secure with my bow. And I mean, I did sharpen it and I used, you know, it is a pretty nice bow. I might as well use it. Okay, I don't want your carrots. I want your apples. I want your cabbages. I want only alchemy ingredients. That was pretty good. Oh, there's a mine down there. What did I set my torch to? Five? No, I don't want to poison. Is it six? No, that's that. Did I, set, oh, I didn't set my torches to anything. Like, I like the idea of being able to, like, level up my crafting skill and making, like, some armors um, and, like, enhancing them. And, like, I just think that's really cool when the game gives you an option to, like, smith your own stuff. Oh, you're going to be playing Dishonored? Oh, I love that game. Like, I like it a little bit more than Thief, just because it has, like, the magic mechanic. And, I, I mean, I like the morality and all that stuff, too, but... It's like a... It is a decent enough story, and I like it. A lot of people like to compare it to, um, like, Dusex, the Machina one, where you're, like, the stealth robot guy. Jensen or whatever. But, uh, that game doesn't have any magic. Dishonored's got magic all the way. I don't know if I played that one. I have the older ones. What's the new one? The one that's just called Thief? Yeah, Dishonored was... I like Dishonored. Is that the one where the guy has, uh, like, a green eyeball or something? I know there's one game where, like, the guy has, like, a magic eye or something, and it's it's something to do with, like, the lore of the main game. Oh, yeah. I think I have played that game then. There's, like, a lot of people up there. Alright, I know what to do. Wait, what did I put it on? Just have to figure... Oh, okay, it's on four. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's how you know when, like, even the developers won't support it, that uh, maybe you did something wrong with your game. You'd rather uh, scrap and start over than, like, fix your existing product. 
have that one. Oof. Bad time to get lost, friend. Heal. I put Fury on him, but he's still after me. I think they're not close enough. That spell did not last long enough. Let's go put our bow out. Healing is one. I need to put my armor spell on. Back to the bow. Oh my god. Back up, dude. Ouch. Alright. That was with my armor on. Yeef! Alright. I ain't scared of you. Okay. Let me heal my wounds. Okay, I think we handled those guys pretty good. I tried to, like, make them fight each other, but they were still aggroed on me. I'm just gonna take all this stuff and just go back to the town and sell it real quick, because why not? Uh, let's see. The stealth was fun, and the creatures that were in the game were terrifying, but it didn't feel as alien as the old Thief game. I mean, that makes sense. Like, if you're gonna have a genre, or you're gonna have, like, multiples of a game, you have to make sure that you keep, like, enough of the, uh, identity of the old games kind of in your new games, or else you alienate people. Um, so if they fail to do that, that's a pretty big, uh, that's a pretty big mess up. I know I played Dishonor probably more than I played the new Thief game, I know that for sure. I think my favorite spell in Dishonored is when you just summon the rats to, like, eat everybody. I'm like, what a convenient and awesome spell. And I can't tell, does he, like, have some kind of powers, or he touches a relic, or he gets cursed, or... I can't remember what makes him, like, so special. Like, in terms of, uh, being a thief. I might take some health, actually. Alright, this is good, this is good. Should I take smithing? Steel armor. I do kind of want to get, like, elven armor. I think I have to level it up more first. Let's do archery. We're using the bow a lot right now. Uh, he's in the blast range of a powerful artifact and explodes at the start of the game. And then it, like, gives him some kind of, like, weird powers or something. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of mi mixing stealth, uh, like the stealth MO, and magic. I think it's a really good combination. Chug of milk. I don't want your milk. I do want all your rat tails, though. Did that work? Time to end this game. Yes, fight each other. Uh, Illusion spells. Uh, and I just sit over here and I let you fight. Fight each other. And then I just burn both of them. I mean, it seems good. I definitely like that I can like bait people into fighting each other. Also use arrows. What I was trying to do is pick up all these rat tails. There's like rats everywhere. Usually skeever tails are pretty rare. Yeah, I hope so too. It'll probably be around the same time, like our normal schedule and everything. There might be like a day during the week here or there that I might miss, but it should be pretty consistent. 
really enjoying it too. And it's like a stark contrast to Fallout 2, so it's really interesting to like compare it to some of the older games. <laughs> I don't know, aren't they aren't they usually pretty rare? Or weren't they rare in Oblivion? I don't remember fighting very many rats in Oblivion, so skeever tails were like hard to come by. Oh, that'll be good. Definitely, I think, uh, if anyone needs a vacation, Tails, it's you, Mr. Uh, 60 hours a work week. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I don't remember getting Tails off of rats, so does that mean they're, like, some new amazing item that I should pick up? I mean, you never know when you might need a rat tail. I might just pop that into a, a healing potion and maybe I'll grow wings or something. Potions, a torch, an amulet of Stendar. And I found out if I hit C, we can look at it, aka like Resident Evil style. So it looks like some gold sonic rings with uh, a drinking horn. I like it. Like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, after level one, you don't really see rats, yeah. I miss me some rats. I also miss goblins. I thought goblins were really cool. Uh, that's really heavy, but I'm just gonna take it back down to the town and sell it. Alright, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go as far as I can till I'm, like, over-encumbered, and then we're just going to dip out and uh, head back into town and sell everything. And then try to buy that ring that I want for, like, a $1,200. Because I'm sure it'll come in handy to have a ring that good. And there's a lot of rats down here. I feel like I should be sneaking more. Who is this guy? Bandit out. Oh, back up. Back up. Oh shit. Okay, he's tough. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I need a spell. Uh, make me have tree skin. And some fire. doesn't care that I'm burning him. Oh my god. Don't mind me. Walk it off. Alright, come at me, bitch. I'm ready. Back up. Okay, that guy was kind of tougher than the other guys. That was pretty funny. I just know nothing down here is friendly, so I just took a shot. I don't want to go too much farther. Let's just sell our stuff. The fact that Cringy Bethesda refuses to keep rats feels the need to call them skeevers. <laughs> you don't think skeevers is a more uh, a more spooky name, Shakti? <laughs> I love it. Well, according to everyone else, and when we played Oblivion, after level 1, there wasn't really any rats in uh, Oblivion, and now there's these things called skeevers, and there's tons of them. So somebody obviously has a skeever thing at uh, Bethesda. <laughs> uh, on the world map, locations that you have discovered have light icons, while locations that you have heard about have dark icons. You uh, can select any location you have discovered to fast travel to it. Oh, so can I just go back to Riverwood? Yes, take me to Riverwood, please. Also, what time is it? It's midnight, so we can't sell anything. Uh, let's go get a, a room at the end and see if I can get that well-rested buff again. I would like a room. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Oh, you're not Delphine. Mm hmm. Delphine! You're that visitor been poking around. Give me your finest room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Which room is it? This one? Yeah, it says I can sleep in it. I guess I got lucky. Alright, let's get our eight hours of sleep in. Uh, 
I feel like we're not doing too bad, but I'm also playing the game on expert, so I'm ready for just like to walk down a corridor and get my ass kicked. So I'm trying to be more on the safe side. I know how these games can be. So did I get that buff? All skills improve by 10% faster for 8 hours, so this bed's even more powerful than uh, his sister's bed. I mean, that's worth 10 bucks for me. I like buffs. Holy crap, guys, we've discovered every single uh, thing a blue mountain flower does, and we're like level 3. That's awesome. Two on those. I don't think I have anything really to combine. I haven't had much time to get flowers. Hello? Orgnar, why'd you follow me outside? Um, who has the most money? Let's sell to this guy first, because uh, he only takes equipment, it looks like. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Alright, what do you got for sale? The finest weapons and armor. 890 bucks. Alright, have this normal hunting bow. Some daggers. Great sword. You can basically have all of this. I just picked it up to bring it to you. Another speech skill. Yeah, get rid of this heavy armor. It weighs way too much. If I'm not wearing it, I'm selling it. I like a clean inventory and a filled gold pouch. That's how you make a high elf happy. Hey, Sooth. How's it going, man? Good to see ya. I'm, uh, I'm just selling a bunch of stuff before we go into Bleak Falls Barrow. To try to get this, like, claw back for this shop owner. He's like, the bandits broke in and stole it. And uh, we got attacked by a dragon. Um, I bought some spells. We did some crafting. I think I can't sell him anything else. I have $1,300. I can buy that ring, though. Alright, I gotta go buy this ring. I am the master of coin. Alright, can I buy that ring? The sooner you find... Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Your sister? She's literally right in front of you. She's not going to do anything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, what? Which one? What's an MMORPG? I was like, if you're asking if the Elder Scrolls has an MMORPG, it does. I haven't played that one, though. I haven't really heard anything about it. it might be good. Um, I think it's apparel. So he's got this, like crown, which is very cool. Increases my magic by 20 points, but I think my hood that I have on now does more magic than this thing does. It doesn't even give me any armor. I might need to pass on that. These robes also seem nice, but way out of my price range. I could get some illusion robes, restoration robes. Kind of think this ring would be good, like just more mana. Lock picking would be good. Or sneaking. Honestly, let's just go for mana. I like mana. Okay, so that got me a free level. And now he's got 900 gold to sell. Alright, let's see. Can I get any of my money back? Block 10% more damage with your shield. Oh yeah, there's shields in this game too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to the necklace. I don't think I have any potions to sell. I can get rid of the stamina ones. I don't need 15 of these. I'll sell 8 of these. And then... These are good, these are good. Oh shit, I had a potion of haggling this whole time. You haggle for 10% better prices for 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to hold on to this thing. Actually, you know what? Sell five of these. I don't need these too much right now. Gradients, we're keeping. Books, I'm keeping. Two garnets. Alright, I think that's the best I can do. Mm. Alright, let's see what this ring looks like. A ring of minor magic. So I'm at 200, so I should be at 220 with this. 
and then if I go to my spells, I think I can see it. Oh yeah, it's on my right. Show uh, those thieves not to steal my right from finger. Luke and Valerius. I've got my. Uh, I got the ring now. So now if I go up, do I have 220? I do have 220 mana. Okay, cool, perfect. Uh, after playing Zancrick and being an orc that was never supposed to be a mage and having to use his mana pool, it's so nice to have so much mana. I will say that. It's really nice. Alright, so I'm just going to walk back to that place. I don't think it's that far. Is there an auto run button too? That would be the next thing to figure out. Let's pull out your weapon. Let's see? Wait, let me check that real quick. Is it caps lock? Uh, caps lock. So that's okay. Cap slows me down, like I'm I'm walking slow. I feel like we're close though. All right, how did I? I went to controls last time. I can figure this out. Settings. Uh, no controls. Left hand activate jump sprint shout sneak run, toggle always run caps. Yeah, I hit caps. Um, so you're already running. There's no auto sprint that I'm aware of because that would run down your stamina. Is it auto move? Is it C? Sink. Okay, that's what I want. I just want this. I don't feel like I'm doing too bad for, uh, having to get used to, like, mouse and keyboard. Like, a couple episodes and I'll have this down. If I can figure out Fallout, I can figure out this game. Alright, so I'm looking for, like, iron deposits or treasure chests or anything I might have missed. So far, I'm kind of liking the illusion spell. That fury spell seems really good. Like, as soon as I'm, like, over, uh, like, there's too many people on me, I just throw a couple furies in there, and then people start fighting, and I kind of pick them off while they're fighting each other. It's pretty cool. All we know is this place has a bunch of dead bandits in it, and there's uh, a lot of rats, actually. But not rats, skeevers. Which really makes me not want to get hit by them, because it sounds like I'm going to get a disease. Which I'm hoping is not the case. How did I miss this guy? I think I got all the tails. I have no idea if they're like worth it or not, but when the game presents me with a, an alchemy ingredient, you know I'm gonna hoard it. I think we can walk, because we cleared this area out. There really shouldn't be anything unless Something's gonna like come out of the wall or something. Check those. I think I want my torch out. We got our first puzzle. Ouch. Ok. 
Okay, snake. Broken. Whale. Snake. Snake. Snake, snake, whale. This game does not know that I also play Zelda games, so I can handle the puzzles. There we go. around here. Thief. Oh, we got our first skill book. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay, all clear. today. Nope. I do not want to touch these things. Okay, I think I got them all, but I also lit the stairs on fire. Okay, there we go. Like, I hate when that happens. Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, sneak attack, rat attack. Where did that guy even come from? I was like looking around the bookcase and then I just heard him like jump from like the ceiling or something. Not a fan of that. A scroll of fireball and a weak paralysis potion. Both of those sound really good actually. None of those guys. Okay, there's a lot of webs around here. There's definitely, like, a spider. Oh shit. And I whipped it. Oh god. Back up. Back up. Okay, oh shit. Uh, heal! Oh, I can't heal quicker than the poison, holy shit. Uh, this one. And, uh, that's one of these, please. Oh my god. What a strong poison this thing has. Alright. Another one. Okay, I need my, need my skin spell. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, this guy is... I don't want to tangle with this thing. This thing does a lot of damage. Back up. Back up. I will burn you. Oh, shit. Ah! He got me right in the eyes! <laughs> oh my god, I hate when you get venom in the eyes. That's an asshole, look at him, he's like dripping. Get out of here! Screw you, spider. Oh shit. Okay, I think I, I survived the poison. Did I get it? Okay, I think he's dead. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second. I'm like, this guy will not die. All right. I don't think that went too bad. Minus the uh, that bite that he got me was dealing a nuts amount of damage. All right. Okay, give me my stealth score, please. 
Silver garnet ring. Taking that. Definitely taking the spider eggs. I know these are like really good. Skeever tails, some more venom. Also seems good. dead stuff down here. Who's this guy? Hmm. Somebody seems to be a little sticky at the moment. And also in my way. I mean, he has a dark elf. They're resistant to fire. I could just, like, burn him out. I mean, it would still hurt, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris, you've heard of him? You know about Arvel? Uh, apparently he's, like, the king of the spiders or something. He's, like, stuck in a nest. I mean, how do I get him out without burning him? It's coming loose. Oh, that kind of worked. There you go. What's up, man? Why should I share the treasure with anyone? What? What did you say, bitch? Where do you think you're going? Get back here. I knew I should have cooked you. Excuse you. Excuse you. Who are you sharing the treasure with now, bitch? That's what I thought. The bitch just tried to run away after I saved him. Are you kidding me? Alright, well. Oh, shit. This is the guy who stole the claw. Alright, you give me this. What is this? Bear, butterfly, owl. That's kinda cool. I want your shitty sword. Find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow. There's this- okay. I mean, I was just happy I found the claw. But, I'm sure there's more of those spiders down here. I think I got everything. I just wanted to get the spider eggs. Those are pretty, uh, pretty rare. If there's one thing I know, it's skeever tails and spider eggs all the way. That's how you become a millionaire in Skyrim. At least that's what they tell you. This room looks like a whole bunch of nope. What the? Me okay. That's a Nord. Bitch. Draugr. These are the famous Draugr I've heard so much about. Oh my- Jesus, what the shit was that? Alright, whatever you are, come out. I've got an arrow for you. Is that another spider? What the- Everything alive down here? I leveled up my archery skills. Back up. Alright, so I think he stepped on a trap and went flying or something. I thought something like attacked him, but he was like over here, and then I looked over the pillar and he just went woof! And he went flying over to the wall. Um, so if I had to take an educated guess, I'd say I don't want to step on this. Yeah, I definitely don't want to step on that. There seems to be a correlation. Can I go around it? Nope, there's a wall there. Oh, here we go. Ha! I have beaten the trap! Now that's when the second trap's gonna activate, right? I know how these games work. I'm just gonna shoot every zombie I see. Because these bitches are still alive. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can you step on that, zombie? Can you step on that? No? Oh! Well, that worked. Don't mess with me. Restless Stronger with a potion of strength, which is a carrying capacity potion. Yeah, I'm taking that. 
I just don't step on that accidentally. Alright, any zombies down here? Bo's not doing too bad. Taking a couple hits. Back up, dude. Alright. You gonna come alive? Are you gonna come alive? Fire testing all of these guys. Yeah, fight me, bro. Try and hit me. I have the magical oak skin. Nothing can harm me. I mean, I take a lot of damage. It's not too bad. I wonder if I can level up my armor skill that way. Kind of makes me feel a little tanky when I have it on. It's not anything super great, but it's not too bad. First chest I get to pick. Since being, uh, escaping from the, uh, Imperials. Nice, we got another level up. Alright, let's level up. I would like health. Sneak would be... Let's do speech. I'm a big speech guy. Buying and selling prices are 10% better. Let's do that. I'm definitely going to be trading in this game. Alright, so... Let's armor up. Shut the murder chains off. I don't want any part of that. Okay, now they got bombs in a jar. Oh, I could try my ward out, couldn't I? Where's my ward? Well, that's interesting. So I, like, have a force field. Could not hit me. I have a shield. Alright, that's not too bad. So I'm assuming if these guys are Nords, are they also like Nords where they're like resistant to uh, frost? So I'm like, it's a good idea to use fire. Fire seems to work. How did he turn this back on? What an asshole zombie. Shut that off. Why do we have murder traps down here? What purpose did they serve? Can't we all just get along? Without all the swinging axes and axes. See how they like that. Got a sneak skill? Okay. Yeah, you looked like you were gonna come alive, dude. Back up. Back up, I say. Any zombies who come down this tunnel are getting burnt. Up. 
I don't think I did that trap right, but I'm liking the fire on these guys. Oh, an iron ignit. I'll take that. Oop. Oh, he's got a battle axe. Back up. Don't you cross that bridge. I mean, that is really satisfying. I just love that I'm like an instant flamethrower. That's a big treasure chest. An amethyst. tried to use any of my illusion spells on um, on the zombies yet. That might help, too. Ooh. What are these things? Alien mushrooms. I'd be scared to eat those in real life. I feel like I'd be tripping. They glow in the dark and they have, like, jellyfish tendrils. I don't know if I want to eat that. Might, might have to pass on that. So it looks like scrolls might be, like, so they're just like one, um, one cast like instant spells. So like a scroll of fireball, like you're always gonna want a scroll of fireball. Cause I definitely don't know the fireball spell. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Also, zombie men coming back to life. Nobody told me about this stuff. They told me I was looking for a claw. A golden claw. I almost have 20 lockpicking, though. Okay, I don't think I can fit through there. No, it's too small. Nothing else, we found these crazy alien glowing mushrooms. And I will market them and make them into a delicious fruity beverage, a potion of some variety, and sell it across the land for max gold. Once I figure out what the hell they're used for. Give me this. It's like alien mushrooms. do this? Holy shit. How did I pull that off? Another one. Oh my god, am I getting double sneak attacks? Oh my god. Oh, this is a restless one. Oh, fuck that. Okay, run this way. Alright. When he follows you, just open into him. Back up, zombie. My arrow's back. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull that trick shot off over through the, uh, through the vines. That was pretty cool. Oh, I got that. That was easy. So good to be able to like properly lockpick again, not just randomly jamming my lockpick into random surfaces and hoping that it opens, which is what was happening in Fallout. I hear 
more of those chains of doom. Okay. Shut those off. Fury this guy? Draugr resisted your fury. Well, that's not good. much loot on them. All their swords like weigh a bunch. The bow looks pretty good. Ancient Norvo might be not too bad. I kind of like the one I made though at the blacksmith. It's personal now that I've like crafted it and like sharpened it and stuff. like maybe uh, the Draugr are immune to uh, illusion spells. Maybe I have to do something that like has a brain. It's gotta be like some kind of like counter necromancy thing. on fire. Another day in the life. Luckily, I have healing magic, which, you know, always comes in clutch. I got some weird-ass hieroglyphics. Moth people. Looks like Kinnereth. I need my torch. Hmm. Yeah, something to do with moss. Guy with two staffs and a beard. He looks pretty cool. I kind of want to run into this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Angel. Angel man. Angel man with the moon. Flaming. Flaming cleric looking guy. And flaming cleric looking guy. Nice. Ooh, oh my god. Do you think that's what that is? I forgot about those. They're the ones who read the, uh, the Elder Scrolls, right? So this is like someone who can see the future? That's really cool. I need the lore. Tell me where the lore is. I want your book. <laughs> yeah, those are definitely the moss. Very cool. Keyhole. Dragon keyhole. Wasn't it like... I think it was like bear something? Bear, moth... I think this is right? Oh, nice. That's a cool door. I hope there's nothing bad beyond this door that wants to kill me. Ugh, I don't like bats. Some natural light coming in from the hole in this roof. Some steps. Kind of looks like an altar. That's not ominous.
<laughs> what is that? Oh, okay, so here's the the word of power, right? So find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow, bring the cloud of uh, Lucan. Okay. Word of power, where is that? Power? Highborn. Shouts. Unrelenting force, your voice is raw power, pushing aside anything or anyone who stands in your path. Can I do this? Dragon souls are required to unlock shouts. Okay. Well, I don't have any dragon souls. Oh, shit. Who's this guy? An overlord? Oh, stay away from me. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm taking it that that guy has the power of whatever I just read. Back up. Yep, he's definitely Fusen. Okay, I don't... I'm not dealing that much damage to him. It's kind of scary. Okay. He's stuck on the bridge? Back up, dude. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Dodged. Lightning, bitch. Okay, that guy was annoying. The hell was that? He was, like, shouting at me. Dragonstone. Can I look at that? Mm-hmm. What does that say? Hmm, can anyone read this? What's it say? Is it like a buy one, get one? At like, a, is it like a store promotion? Or what does this say? Does it say like, high elves are the best? I need to get this translated. <laughs> I like it. I kind of want to hang this up like, uh, in my little bathroom stall in my house, right? That'd be like a nice little greeting when you're sitting there to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think I'm going to hold on to this. This seems like it's important. I can't make it out, but it looks important. Ancient Nord War Axe of Frost. Target takes 10 points of frost damage to health. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll take the shield, too. I was more interested in the treasure chest, but then he just, like, popped out of the coffin, but... This magical uh, dictionary wall was lighting up, and we got, like, a word from it. Ooh, a hunting bow of burning? So now I have fire arrows? Petty soul gem, potion. Oh, a kin uh, amulet of Kinneress. She's the nature one. Increases your stamina by 10 points. That might not be too bad. I don't really have a necklace on right now. Frenzy poison, petty soul stone. And we have the golden claw, so. Oh, I can give it back to Lucan. I don't really see, like, any ore or anything to mine down here. Ooh, what's this? Bonus treasure by a waterfall, as usual. Always gotta check those waterfalls out. So I'm gonna put this new bow on. So mine does 11... That does 9, but it does burning damage. Okay, yep, yeah, favorite. And let's put that on 3. 
like that one. Ooh, now my bow has like little fire runes on it. Very nice. I say we rock out with a fire bow. I like to set things on fire with my arrows. That's cool. Ooh, free flowers? Yes, please. Whose skull is that? Honestly, I thought that was a troll skull for a second. It was that said something about Boethia. I know Boethia. I like Boethia. Oh, hello. Got a dead elephant. Hmm. It's over on this side. Okay, Operation Don't Break My Ankles is a go. Yeah, a lot of dead mammoths here. I'm more of an Amira guy yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. I kind of want to make contact with... Uh, I definitely want to do Sheagorath. I want to do... Um, who's the one who's like plots and murders? Periite for sure. I like Periite. Honestly, any Daedra shrine I'm going to go pay visit to. I love the Daedra. We love him. <laughs> Oh, nice. What is this? Corundamore. Let's get that. I feel like I'll need this. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll... We'll turn in this quest. We'll try to get the, uh, the reward for it. And then uh, I might just try to like make it into White Run, and we'll uh, save and wrap up for today. So we're going pretty good so far. I even have like inventory space. This is nice. Um, I'm gonna do more magic. Buying and selling prices are 15% better. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm just about to um, sell some stuff too, so that'll be good. Keep the gold flowing. I'm not going to be able to buy all my houses and properties and horses and all this other stuff if I don't have a steady supply of gold. So I think if this is the same river from um, before, I can just follow this back to town. It's like dragonfly? What is that? What is this? It's an underwater ruins? Nordic barnacles. And river beddies. I'm drowning. Oh, shit. I was trying to catch these fish. Oh, slaughterfish. Nope, nope. I don't want any part of that. Where is that thing? Fight me, Slaughterfish, where are you? Can you even kill these things? Can I, like, shock the water? <laughs> you think I'd be able to shock it, don't you? Like, give him a, give him a shock? I don't know how to get him to follow me, though. Oh, that hit it. Come here. Come here, you fish. Where are you? Okay, I see him right there. I don't know if I'm hitting him, though. Alright, screw this. We're going in with a weapon. Uh, give me that frost axe. Oh. 
Fight me. Fight me, fish. I hate these freaking things. Okay, I think I got him. Yeah, give me your scales. There we go. Ugh. Piranhas. Alright, I was trying to catch- there's like some fish in the water. Ceridetic spade tail. So I'm just like picking up fish with my hands and these barnacles. What these are for, but I want them. It's not a door or anything, it doesn't look like. Also trying not to drown. Alright, so that's that way, so... I'm gonna keep following it this way? Give me that torch bug. that I can take. Because if we're going to be heading to Whiterun, I think having like a bunch of ore would be a good idea. I'm assuming I can do something with it there. Mm, nothing up there. Looks like there's a little house out here, though. Time to try out my new uh, speech scores. Hello. It is 8:44 p.m. Anisa's uh, Anisa's cabin. Hey, what's up? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Okay. Do you mind if I like look around in your house for a little bit? Doesn't seem like she cares. Ooh, she's got some, like, alchemy stuff. I don't know if I want to steal from an old lady, though. Song of the Alchemist. Ooh, free alchemy level, thank you. What are you doing? Oh, are you it's gardening? Tough just scraping by out here, but I make do. You got a cellar down here. Ooh. She's got an alchemy lab. Weak aversion to magic. Apothecary satchel. She's got like everything. Potent paralysis poison? Thank you. Thank you. Death Bell, Chanter's Hagraven. A note. Uh, Helga, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. Um, I think she'd be a witch, that one. Oh my god, she's got spider eggs? What else you got? She's got really good stuff. I don't know why she has children's uh, clothing in her cupboard, though. Elf seer, hawk feathers, just no grapes. Arcane Enchanter? What's this do? Uh, to enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by disenchanting enchanted items. Okay. Can I disenchant my axe? Can I disenchant... I actually want to keep all these. I think that's good for now. I don't want to get rid of my bow. Alright, did we pick up any ingredients? Alright, glowing mushroom, resist shock. 
Damage Magicka from Feathers. Cure Disease from Hawk Feathers. And Weakness to Magic from Grapes. And Barnacles damage magic as well. But the fish damage health. And restore stamina. Slaughterfish scales resist frost. So I can combine them with that. And restore stamina from the butt of a torch bug. Okay. Yeah, let's do these. These potions are really popular. Got some resist fire ones. Resist frost. Wow, for resist 13% of frost damage for 60 seconds and increase heavy armor skill by 9 for 60 seconds, it sells for $100 base. Is that too bad? Elves here and red mountain flower. And then bone meal and spider egg. Nah, that's not a good use of spider egg. Wait, I thought I ate this thing. I thought I tasted everything. Death Bell damages health. I figured that. Damage stamina from the spade tail. So I can literally fish up my own alchemy ingredients now. That's awesome. <gasps> nice, 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 nice. Um, I feel like this lady's gonna attack me because she's a witch. Definitely uh, ready for a fight. Let's uh, put some venom on my uh, arrows. So she's gonna get hit with burning, and she's gonna get hit with poison if she tries some shit on me. Don't try it, lady. Don't try it. What was that? None may know my secret. Oh my god. Lady? Don't do it. Just walk away. You need to learn <laughs> Oh my god. Back up, lady. I think, I think I got her. <laughs> um, in my defense, it made her aggro, and she said, fool, a nun may know my secret, um, but I definitely was calling her trying to attack me. She seemed, uh, I was a little premeditated. Alright, so now I think I can just, like, raid this place, can I? So she's like a witch? Well, I'm taking all her alchemy stuff, I don't even care. Want your cabbages. No apples. We'll take your garlic though. And your wheat. And your soup. Mountain flour. Ooh, fine clothes. Some boots. Just gonna take your book. She won't need it anymore. Oh, and then I can just sleep here? Can I rest till morning? <laughs> I mean, she attacked me first, so I was just like defending myself. I was literally just like looking around. She's like, oh, I'm just a poor old woman, dear. Don't worry about me. And then she's got a letter in the basement saying she's like a witch and she's trying to like do some shit. And then I just trying to leave and she attacks me. Like, you know, we handled it. I don't think I need my torch anymore. Uh, but the cool news is, is she has an alchemy station and she has an enchanter's table, so I think we can just kind of, like, dip over there and, uh, use it whenever we want now. Unless those witches are gonna come and, like, show up. We might have to take them out later. Yeah, because that looks like the mine that we were at, um, when we were farming, uh, earlier. So then that would mean if I follow this, um, river... Should I never finish the mines, did I? I only got like halfway through because I was over encumbered. We might need to head back to the mines actually. Get some more ore.
Like, I want the game to give me um, options to use speech, like in dialogue, but sometimes when it just comes down to it, the game does not give you an option to, uh, to use your speech skill and you just gotta wing it. Fish eggs. Oh my god, so there's more like living down here in the river. There's no way I'd be swimming in this river in real life. No freaking way. Hey, what's up, man? Greetings, Brother L. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Agreed. I think we're the only two elves in this town. What the hell is up with that? Can you uh, train me to be better at archery? I kind of suck at it. I'll show you what I know. <laughs> I mean, I was just expecting her to be a little aggro after I read the note. If I didn't read a note saying that she was trying to be like an evil witch, I might not have been so alert. But uh, witches in this game don't tend to be the friendliest, so I just, you know, past experience taught me to do that. Uh, so it looks like the elf guy will teach me to be better at archery. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm kind of a hybrid. I don't know what I am yet, but yeah, I definitely like magic. I'm like a, a magic stealth guy. I'm just, I'm in a foreign land. I think everyone's out to get me. I'm also the race of the people that everyone hates, so I'm just a little bit more uh, on edge that someone's going to attack me when I'm just walking around. I think that's why it's nice to see like another elf. All right, well, I uh, I don't think I want to pay all this money for this just yet, but uh, it's good to know that you're here. Yeah, what's your problem with Sven, uh, Sven, by the way? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. You hope you don't sound very sure, or you're right when have words over ever. Hello? Can I help you? Can I help you? We're having a personal conversation right now. Hang on, Fandel. Give me a second. All right then. I'm glad to help any way I can. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to my friend here. You were like, okay, never mind. Come back here. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. All right, so what's up with Sven? Do you think he's gonna write her a poem? An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. Yeah, you don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. You want me to give her a fake letter? Alright, well, there you know what? what? Sven's kind of an asshole. We talked to him a little bit in the inn. I don't really mind doing this. I'm gonna help a fellow elf out. Well, like, it's not going to work. Like, if she's not into him, she's not going to be into him because of a rando letter she gets. Alright, um, wait, she's in the store, isn't she? He said Camilla. Okay, I've got a letter for you. Hurry up and tell Luke and you have the claw. He'll be so excited. How do you know I have the claw? I, are you just assuming that I have it with me? Um, I actually have a, a letter for you, Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. I don't think it's a poem. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. All right, then. Shit, all right. That worked. I don't think she was into him that much to begin with. If all it takes is a little letter for her to do that, I don't know. Uh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For uh, I don't village? think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 
Wow, $25? Thanks. Oh, wow. Now we're friends, so he'll follow me? I need your help? And he can still train me with archery? Alright, well, I made my first friend. Farewell. Have a good day, elf brother. That's cool. So, like, I can get a follower now if I want. Elves gotta stick together. Uh, uh, what? Uh oh. Ex exploit. Exploit who? <laughs> Just kidding. Do I have stuff to sell? Oh yeah, I have to turn in the claw. Hang on. I have your claw. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Yeah, here you go. You're back from Bleak Falls. Did you find anything? Yeah, here you go. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Oh, nice. Wow, $400? Hell yeah, man. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy uh, your date with uh, Feindel. I used to be it's able to have him as a follower and have him around. train you, then take the money back out of his inventory. Oh my god. Yeah, that would be an exploit, alright. Can you imagine? Free training for nothing? Everyone would milk that. Oh wait, I still have stuff to sell, goddammit. I wanted you to have this. A token of my affection. Don't mean we're engaged or nothing. Are you coming on to me, Lucan? Eight bucks? Shit. It's like this man just bought me, like, free Thank McDonald's. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. I see you, Lucan. You know, you hit me up. You know what to do. Thanks for, uh, the free money. You and me. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Alright, I got tons of stuff to sell. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, he's got a lot of money. Did you get, like, new inventory or something? Mm, he does have these robes that look really nice. It almost looks like I have enough. Conjuration might also be fun, too. Or destruction and alteration. I seem to be doing more destruction and alteration, honestly. 2400 I think I can afford that. Oh, shit. He has a pickpocketing ring. Damn it! Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Every time I want to get something, he has to get, like, some rare magical thing that I want to get. Alright, I'm gonna buy this. Ouch! My wallet! Ugh! Alright, it's alright. Walk it off, walk it off. It's fine. I just got a bunch of money from getting the claw back. I can afford it, I think. Cure disease. This act I'm gonna make my own though, but having some cure disease potions is like not the worst idea. Just got some food. Doesn't have any new spells. I'm gonna buy his ore. His leather. Mock picks. I think that's all I want. Oh, and his wolf pelt. Alright, and then let's sell to him. So I have two, uh, two perks in the buying and selling, so... I should get some good money from this. Hopefully. Get rid of that stuff. I know I've picked up, uh... I'm finding, like, these amulets of the gods. These look kind of cool. I don't know. I think I need to hold on to these for, like, later. That I want to disenchant. Get rid of the shields. Got two magic rings. And then I have fresh venom to sell. Hell yeah. Level up. 
resist cold, resist fire. Let's get rid of the frost ones. Keep that, keep that. Keep the paralysis potions. Yeah, that looks good. Keep the fireball scrolls, keep that. I don't need this journal anymore. Keep thief. The amethysts. All right, that looks good. All right then. I'm making friends left and right in this town. Everybody loves me. All right, so I think we can try to get to uh, White uh, White Run, which we basically need to tell the Jarl that the uh, the dragon's real. He's out and about, and like Riverwood's defenseless, so he has to like send somebody to help. I wonder if Sven knows it's for me. Hi, Sven. How's your day going? You're nothing but trouble. How do you know that? All right then. I don't think he knows that. He's just pretending like he does. You're that visitor been poking around. Yeah, can I get it? I'm in the innkeeper. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Hang on. Can you take a break? I need to take a nap. Someone that has seen. Sure. What can I do for you? Yeah, can you take a break? Sure. My voice could use a rest. Thanks. I need to go. I need to get my beauty sleep. I just cleared a dungeon. Now, I don't want anyone to judge me for what I'm about to do. But unfortunately my magical nature and my desire for relics does not let me not do this. Oh, midnight should be good. It's time for some mischief. Don't go setting the Bye guys, have a good Whatever night. You need. My spirit is Going back into his house. Okay. Shit. In my defense, I got this thing back. I'm just not quite done with it yet. Just wanna borrow this for just a second. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so now that I have the claw back, He's definitely not going to be happy about it, but Golden Claw with the Dragonstone, like, I don't know, it's nice, like, it's a nice treasure, I kind of want to hold on to it. It's like the first big treasure I ever found, like, in Skyrim. I kind of want to hold on to it. I don't want to part with it. Alright, so let's go to Whiterun. I think it's the other way. I'll be out of this town by the time he gets up, he'll have no idea. Got my pickpocket ring. Can't wait to use that. Wait, I got a level up, didn't I? Uh, magic. Can't do anything more with speech. We do alchemy. Illusion. Probably could do archery again. Actually, I wanna... Let me just take a pickpocketing. Pickpocket bonus of 20%. Item weight and value reduces pickpocket odds. I'm gonna do this. 
So that's 20, and then I can pop my ring on. So if we ever need to, like, do a little pickpocketing, I actually have a chance to do it. Might as well do it now while I'm under the, uh, the stars of the thief. I think it'll come in handy. Sorry, was there a sign? There's got to be a sign somewhere that'll tell me where to go. Okay, Riverwood, Iverstead, Helgen, Solitude, White Fun is this way. There's a deer over there. So I want to try something real quick. Under the Illusion School of uh, Talents, it said something about, like, Animage or something. So I know these animals tend to, like, run away from us, but what if we charm them with our Illusion skill and, like, force them to fight us? Yeah, that kind of works. And then... fight them this way and then like get their loot that might be better than having to like set up perfect like archery shots there's a lot of people over there oh yeah there's a deer over there all right so, where, okay, so if I hit it with this I think it'll fight Yeah, look, it's gonna fight me. And then it shouldn't run away, I don't think? Maybe? It seems a little conflicted right now. Elk, I need your leather for crafting. Now you're, like, drowning yourself. What's going on? Okay, give me that. Give me that. I'm thinking I can kind of, like, force animals to come to me to, like, farm hides up for, like, crafting. This might be, like, another use of this, uh, fury spell. I know there's wolves over here. Is he in the water? Did he fall through the waterfall? Yeah, it looks like he did, didn't he? Alright. Well, I'm not getting that guy. Alright, so apparently, according to that sign, if we just stay on this road, we're going to end up in Whiterun, which is, we have two reasons to go there. We have to tell the Jarl and uh, get some aid. And, uh, I think I have another quest for there as well. I need to get, like, a steady supply of pelts, I think. I'm also gonna try and use, like, my speech skill to kinda buy the other trader's stuff and then, like, use crafting to sell it back for more money. I might be able to, like, come up with a business plan or a strategy for lots of money in this game. There's, like, lavender on the road. Very nice. Mud crab. Get out of here. I barely saw it. It was like so perfectly camouflaged with the rocks. Okay. 
Okay, winter hold. Hang on, I need my torch. Okay, white run is on the left. Looks like there's a guard over there too. Say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Fist bump. <laughs> Did you guys see that guy's arm? A little bugged out there. Fist bump. <laughs> I mean, this is often how I greet strangers in the middle of the night. Dragons, I can handle. This talk of dragons. Well gone mad, I say. <laughs> he figured it out. Alright, so let's just get to White Run and we'll save and wrap up. Uh, so I think it's this way. He's just scratching his pen. <laughs> I don't think I've quite seen uh I don't think I've quite seen that uh that motion before too often in my life, but if that's a thing they do in White Run, you know, when in Rome, you gotta do what they do, so. I'm just gonna have to learn the Nord culture and the Nord ways, aka the fist bump. Honeybrew Meadery. Okay, so we've gotten some uh, alcohol from them. So this is where it comes from. Honeybrew Meadery. They have a nice sign. I mean, this is like super nice graphics. I like this. That's cute. Looks like they got another farm over here. Oh shit. There's a giant attacking. Stop it, giant. Go away. Burn this bitch. Must have scared him off. Okay, I think we got him. Woo! You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. Uh, what's that? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Uh, can I join you guys? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Speak with the leader of the companions. Okay, that seems cool. I also just kind of like want to fight giants, so if they're going to hunt giants, that sounds like a good time. Look at this bitch. Oh my god. He's literally, his weapon is literally like a giant ass stone and like a tree. He's using a full-blown tree as a base for a weapon. Yeah, these are, uh, they don't have these back in the Somerset Isles, I'll tell you that. Oh, there's like good guards walking around. There's like decent patrols. Seems like a safe enough town. I don't know if the guards are the brightest, though. They hardly ever are. I also need to, like, find a place to get some better spells, too. I know that that guy at the store was saying something about, like, a college. Like, a college of Winterhold. Might be worth checking out. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come on. Hang on, my torch went out. You are Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Yeah, I will definitely check that out once I'm in town. I'm assuming we're almost there. Yeah, it says white run to the right. Oh, here we go. Mm, this makes me miss my unicorn. Remember Shadowmere? Remember the unicorn? Do you know where they are? No? You don't know? Alright, fine. Don't tell me. <laughs> Who's this guy? Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. What do you know about right White Run? Yeah, what do you know about White Run? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker. 
is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. You have to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the bannered mayor or the castle steward. Okay. Can you, like, take me to towns? Where do you want to go? Oh, yeah. There's, like, these are, like, places I can go to? Awesome. That's fine. Alright, I'll definitely come back for you. See ya. Bye. White Run Stables. Alright, well, we're in the right place. Let's at least get up to the gate. I had to book it out of, uh, Riverwood before that store owner wakes up and realizes I took the claw back. It just seemed, like, too valuable to just give to some random-ass storekeeper. flowers up here. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vaster if you're worth any fight. So it's a mead hall. I have to look for a, an old style mead hall. Uh, it could be like maybe like the Fighters Guild or like a different faction or something like that. It looks like they're all warriors. Or I have to check that place out. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh, Riverward calls for the Jarl's aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Will this change your mind? 117 gold or stand aside or else I'll kill you. Um, how about I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Do you care about that? I was there. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Hell yeah, the power of speech! Well, at least I can talk my way into the city. Okay, so am I allowed to go in then? No, Lola Gagan. You look tired, friend. The bannered mayor has beds for rent. Okay. This place is pretty uh, lively for five in the morning. Everybody's like all the stock, the, like the shopkeepers, and everyone's out like making stuff for the day. Everything all right? We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. We just can't fill Don't mind me, guys. Just gonna pick a couple flowers. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Interesting. So they're talking about the the feud that he was saying between the there's like two clans that are fighting. I ain't done nothing. All right, let's save up here. We just got into the town. This will be a good space to uh, save at. So we've made it to White Run finally. We got up to level seven. Not too bad. I feel pretty good. Got some, uh, we've got some jingle in our pockets. We've got 1,600 gold. Carry weight looks good. We've got some new spells. Found this magic-ass word that uh, I don't know what to do with yet. Got some illusion spells. Got some alteration spells. Healing. Very good. All right, so let's get a save. Alright, there we go. Level 7 saved. Perfect. Alright guys, and with that, we've reached the end of the episode for today. I want to go ahead and thank each and every one of you who followed, anyone who's been participating in chat, and everyone watching at home. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying it. Um, as I said earlier, it's going to be a full playthrough. It's the Game of the Year edition. We have a couple community-created mods that don't knock out the achievements, so we're also hunting for the achievements. Um, so we're gonna do like a full and complete playthrough of this game. So far I'm really liking it. Um, super fun. I'm enjoying being an elf again, like trying to figure out my build. I'm sure we'll find out like some super fun stuff to do. Um, so I am playing on expert difficulty as well, so 
if we do have to fight some dragons or some of the bigger stuff here, I'm sure there'll be some pretty epic fights, but I'm going to do my best to try not to die. I'm going to make a lot of potions, craft a lot, talk to a lot of people, but definitely uh, look forward to more. Uh, I might not be on tomorrow. I might have something that I have to do, but if I'm not on tomorrow, you'll expect me back on Friday, and then I might either stream Saturday, and then if you don't see me Saturday, we'll be back to our normal schedule on Monday, but definitely look forward to more. Uh, see you guys later. Bye, Chris. Bye, Shasta. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.